Hey guys, welcome to the show. I just want to say uh, it's a pleasure to be your host. We have a great show planned today. Last, Last night we let the Rizzler talk. Even Livy Dunn was getting rizzed up by Baby Gronk. He said that her yacht was so Ohio and skibbity. Even Kaisa Knight and I show speed hitting the gritty. A frame is begging Fortnite. A grim is shaken for night. Yes, yeah, so anyway, today the much anticipated uh, potato battle. The gauntlet was thrown as we talked. As we. Okay, okay, excitement. Um, the gauntlet was thrown as we were discussing Thanksgiving. Uh, it got heated. People said, my potatoes are the best. Others said, Ooh, no, come my with that heat. potatoes are the best. And so we have decided, for your viewing pleasure, to have a competition today. A heat. There will be four chefs and four judges. I'm the meat chef. Each dish will be presented... Uh, anonymously, it's a blind taste test. As you guys know, uh, what do they call them? Randomized blind trials? That's how we do it. Yeah, That's yeah. the real scientific it's method. It's just like that. It's the real scientific method, you know. And so the four judges are going to sit here and deliberate. We have them all set up here. You can show the empty table. Yep. And they Looks will. Great. They will each. Wow. Throw up a rating. Thanks for letting us bump up the budget for the background, by the way. Yeah, you know I've. Uh, I always spring for the show, man. <laughs> oh, oh, I spoke too uh, soon. Hold on. Who Dynamic. Paid Yo, I didn't pay for that. <laughs> Who licensed that image? <laughs> okay. All right. Good. We'll cut that out. So basically, somebody is heating up the potatoes at this moment. No, not somebody. Sam. I wasn't sure if I should. Who? Who is Sam? Yeah, who's Sam? Hi. She. Sam is heating up the potatoes, and we will go one by one. A first one should be ready fairly soon. Sam Temple, thank you for the gifted. That's what I hear. But it's all very. Uh, it's all very exciting. <laughs> I want to say here at the top, but we have so much other fun stuff. Uh, uh, I want to say happy birthday to Howie Mandel. It's his birthday today. Oh, really? Yeah, we love him. How old is he today? He's 67, I believe. Really? He Show good. us! 68. 68? Yeah. He doesn't look a day past. He looks 68. fucking, he looks 62. so good. 63. How do you do that, Howie? Is it all the keeping the germs away makes you look so young? Nothing. Oh. Oh, just nothing. Nothing. Yeah, it was nothing. It's Good genes. Bad for plants. <laughs> so we love Howie, and I just wanted to say happy birthday to him. That's all. Um, also, so we have put together some great segments here. We've got the... Have y'all been following this Enrique... Enrique Iglesias? Did I say his name right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find it in the... Where is it in the document? What number is that? Goofs and gaffs. It's, it's, in, the, it's oh, in the goofs and gaffs section. So he's been, <laughs> I guess, having accusations that he can't sing for a long time. And there was some recent clips that came out, thank you, Lena, that, um, that really drove that point home. And so we go back in time, and we have tons of clips, actually five here, or six, there were a whole history of Enrique Iglesias not being able to sing, which is very funny. I've been very uh, familiar with this uh, situation for quite some time now, and I'm happy it's coming back to life. So what's the accusation? That he didn't sing it? or that Because he was singing before autotune, I feel like. He was, and I, I think that was his problem. <laughs> but then what about the studio recording? He sounds good. It, doctored up. Doctored it up? Doctored it up. Even before they had the technology? It, it's possible, or he just took it take by take to hit the key properly. That's true. Um, you could just go take by take. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's been a long, uh, 
long known thing. So it's not a Milli Vanilli thing. <laughs> no, he's actually singing. Yeah. <laughs> and some good context too is that his father is a very famous singer as well. That is interesting. Yeah. And and he wrote his music. Is that the presumption? Uh, I'm sh- I'm sure he's had right songwriters. I mean, that's a very common thing. Because if he wrote the music and he just can't sing that good, I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shit on him for all mm-hmm. that. Right. That being said, it is funny, and that's why we're watching it. You know, I remember when he he's gay, right? I remember when he came out. I I have a memory of him coming out and uh, being a big deal. That's Ricky. Uh, you're Ricky, Ricky Martin. Martin. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> living the vida loca, baby. <laughs> Wait, who's Rick? Now I'm confused. Who's Ricky Martin? It's very easy to get them mixed up. Yeah, they were popular at the same time. So, okay. Ricky Martin. Who's this guy? I am gay. So, Ricky Martin is gay. And we love that about him, don't we? Love you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. No homo. And how's his voice? Ricky's the goat. Yeah, it's really good. He was on an episode of Glee. He was. Oh, then he's got to be, he's got to be really good. Yeah, yeah. So, Ricky Martin, we love him. Are they both Puerto Rican? And then Enrique. I see he's Puerto Rican. Iglesias. Um, is it okay if I type, is Enrico Iglesias gay? Puerto Rico. Don't do it. We love Puerto. Well, yeah, don't do it though. Don't ask Google that? Yeah, well, don't you ask Google. Ask? Why can't I ask? I feel like I would... I'll Google take... doesn't know the ins and the outs of the feelings. You know what I mean? <laughs> so who is gay? I guess... Hold on one sec here. Yeah. Why won't this come off the screen? What the fuck? He was born in Spain. Oh, he's... Okay, interesting. Spanish. Uh, there's something up with my computer, Dan. It's not... Is Dan here? He's, um... Uh, fixing something <sighs> else. <your> right now. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll Google it off screen. No, I'm good. I'm good. I got it. So, apparently, guys... Uh, Enrique has actually been married to uh, tennis player Anna... Kornikova. They've actually uh, have a son and a daughter, so we love... Oh, they're twins as well, so how, how about that? That's wonderful. Very uh, good. That's wonderful. Um, so that's it. I guess we can do that now. I mean, as we wait for the potatoes. But maybe we'll do shorter things. I'm already... Set it up though. What do you think, love? Add Should the I potato or the, the Enrique thing? Should I do it now or wait till Fuck after? Fuck it, dude. You never know when the potatoes are here. They gotta be heated up properly. Do it live! Alright, so let's do it then. Enrique, my boy. Mm-hmm. Um, first, this audio came out from a recent concert. And a lot of people couldn't even believe that it was... <laughs> that it was real. Um, not, it's not just bad, it's like, <laughs> it's just another planet, I mean, I, I, it's like the worst <laughs> singing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not quite bad. that bad. Like, he's worse than, like, the goof singers on American Idol. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> oh my god. This man is on a stage in front of people. Is is it possible to give him the benefit of the doubt? And Zach, maybe you can tell me. If you're singing into auto tune, would you ever intentionally sing like that? I mean, if you can't sing, yeah. Okay, but you wouldn't. If you're a decent singer, would you ever sing like that into auto tune for I, any reason? I don't think so. I think you would be trying to hit it. As you would want to sing well, well, still. Dan and I had a theory that he pissed off his uh, monitor guy, and he like uh, they just totally pushed him up in the mix and <laughs> dropped the auto tune out. God, but that's got to be really bad for that audio guy's career. <laughs> <laughs> like that is not, not I don't think many people are gonna want to hire him after that. He might have been having a bad night I just to give him the benefit of the doubt, but this has happened on multiple <laughs> occasions where it's like, okay Maybe this guy can't really sing that but well. I, I mean like <laughs> You know when have you ever heard anybody sing like that? Ever? Those dog shit performances on American Idol, you nailed it <laughs> Yeah, but this is like the worst of the worst Dude, I mean, I mean, and then so the same concert, though, unrelated to his singing, a really funny clip came out of him humping the stage. 
uh, and a sexual, uh, a sexual dance, in the, in the words of Rudy. <laughs> sexual dance. And Here. it's a sexual dance. Check this out, you guys. Was this a Enrique, Enrique concert, or was it like a... It, it's it, a he's he on was like, the main line. He's on a big line. tour right now with, I believe, Pitbull. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that wait, is he fucking fun. <laughs> wait, is he opening for Pitbull? Uh, I believe the tour is called the Trilogy Tour. It is. Uh, the Trilogy Tour. Pitbull, Ricky Martin. Holy and shit. And Ricky Iglesias. Big three, man. Oh. Damn. Pit yeah. Pitbull would never get caught like this. No, those are, I mean, two heavy hitters. Ricky Martin and Pitbull. I mean, shit, dude. Mm. Dalek. Mr. Worldwide. It's a I know. So wait, what am I? I didn't even know what I'm looking at here. Oh, that's his head. Okay. Wow. Why are you doing that? That's just weird. <laughs> it's just weird, man. Uh, but here, here's a closer look for you guys at home. Here he is. Here's his head. He's just humping the stage. That's it. That's what he's doing. Oh, you can see it here. I didn't even realize. <laughs> they you can see it big on, on the Yumbo. monitor. And it's a sexual dance. Dude, somebody, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> he could have been drunk off his ass. Look at this. Said, Fuck this it. <laughs> yeah, that would explain. Still, probably if you're doing a show for like, I don't know. Thousands of paying, <laughs> 10,000 paying people. You he know. thinks he's somewhere else. He thinks he's in bed somewhere. <laughs> yeah, he was just totally transported. Literally. So that's the recent one that got everyone talking about it. But now that I got tickled by the, the Enrique uh, feather, we started to look back at some of the other great clips. Here he is on Howard Stern back in 2000. This is at the height of his popularity, I believe. Um, what sparked Enrique to go on Howard was a, a tape of him horribly singing back in 2000. Howard took it and ran with it, showing it to everyone. Enrique was on tour and flew to New York to prove to Howard that he could in fact sing. Here's the original one that uh, he was trying to disprove. This was like that his Stern uh, played on his radio. This was like his Howie prolapse <laughs> version, I guess, comparison. He was showing it to everyone. Wow. Okay. Well, how? Show back in the year 2000. All I need Oh my god. Worse than anyone I've ever been in a musical in, in my whole life. This man's a from childhood. This is what I'm like at karaoke, and it's why I don't <laughs> right. do karaoke. <laughs> okay, that was iconic. Holy wow. shit. We gotta soundbite that up, yeah, Zach. I, I, again, I, I've known about that clip for years now, and I'm so, I'm so happy this is coming to light. Now. I've never seen that. Yeah, it's... Uh, wow. It's pretty... <laughs> I mean, it is inspiring. Like, if he can be a singer, then, mm -hmm. you know. Well, again, What's stopping dad, you? His dad's Julio Iglesias. He's a legend. He's like... His dad's a big deal. Yeah, very big deal. I guess the singing talent didn't. Yeah, he didn't get that gene. That's a straight Nepo yeah. musician right there. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, here's the clip on of him performing on Howard Stern after being, uh, I guess, called out. I don't know if that's the right word, well, but gooped so, on. So the story is that... Um, Enrique was on tour. I believe he was in Italy and he put everything aside and went to Stern to prove him wrong I mean, that's kind <laughs> of like a, That's like a that's a baller move totally and he's it, like fuck it I'm gonna go show everyone I can't sing yeah, and it, it took balls <laughs> balls of steel Yeah, oh you can update the thumbnail by the way Dan with the one cam sent. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I love delusional confidence <laughs> well, again, stop? I mean, where would we type? be without it? Yeah, I know. Where would I be without it? I wouldn't I'd be single without delusional confidence. Trust yeah. me. Trust me. Uh but anyway, here's en en Enrique. Oh fuck. God damn you. Instagram. Sing to me, Wow. Well, you can sing. You can sing. What we got we got to What is that, honey? What what was that? I can't. Can we do another? Can we do another? He can sing, right, Robin? 
Yeah. He sang that song. He sang that song. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lukewarm uh, reception. He sang that song. He sang it. How did Howard receive that? <laughs> if you're, I don't know if you're up to date on all that. What, what do you mean? Like, uh, was it settled? Was he like, okay, can you sing? Or what did it raise more questions? No, I, I think it was put to bed, quote unquote. It was a nice gesture. Yeah. You know, I, I thought uh, on Re and Enrique's part. Yeah, definitely. Even to show up and do like this. <laughs> I mean, it's not as bad. No, definitely not. I think it's just that high note he's just struggling the fuck out of. It's decent here. It's decent. Yeah, and uh, no. he's trying. Okay, I mean. No. Right. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's better than the last one. It's, His tone is insane. <laughs> okay, well. It's jarring. Okay, well, let me say this then. It's better than the last two clips we saw. Yeah. So, improvement. That's amazing. People are saying he's hot, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> True. That is something I don't have. Uh, but uh, I do have delusional confidence. So that's Enrique. Uh, but we have more, actually. Here's he. He's okay. He's a serial ground humper. He's done this before. Uh, let's take a listen and a look. <laughs> Wait, is this the. Okay. Is this the same show? Yeah, I think it's a different uh, frame. Or okay, I like this show. angle though. Enrique, you're married, man. You got kids. Wait, what is he reenacting? I think he's just plastered, bro. What, what the fuck was that? He didn't even do any thrusting. It was like the most half assed. It looks like he just needed a break. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hold on. What is that, dude? It's like he, he's reenacting a real sex uh, he finished in three <laughs> seconds. He's a one-pump jump. <laughs> That's it. That's all he got. In him. Wow, he has a lot of fans still, though. Okay. Enrique, we love you, man. Look at all these fans, dude. Holy shit. These people came from for Enrique. We love Puerto. We love Puerto Rico. We and, love Puerto Rico. And Spain. Honestly, I go to that concert. You fuck with Pitbull? All three of them. Mm -hmm. Who's the third? Ricky. Ricky Martin. Oh, Ricky was there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't know Ricky was there. Yeah. The Holy Trinity, brother. The trilogy tour. So Pitbull's Puerto Rican, right? I love it. Oh, he's Cuban. Cuban. Oh, yeah, okay, he's... so it's a... It's 305. Nice. There you go, all representing different, uh... different turfs. It is truly international, it is. Um, here is another one with... This worldwide. Here's a big one on TikTok that's been going around of him singing from a different mm -hmm. show. He always dresses the same. I kind of vibe with that. I like his look. Let's see. What? Can he hear himself? That's why I'm thinking that we his monitor that. guy was fucking with him. He feel got... like somebody on his audio team is mad. And they, cause but they, that would ruin their career. They would never work again. <laughs> Maybe he's really mad. Like, this know. is so embarrassing. So he, in his ears, he must have sounded either he couldn't hear himself or he sounded fine. Or he could have just been drunk off his ass. <laughs> this is next level, man. And he's, I like that he's up there like he's really serving. <laughs> like he's really Sorry, feeling it though. Bad. The bass player's trying to save the show. <laughs> so I was thinking this might be an inspiring story about how if he can do it, anyone can. But actually it's like a really depressing nepotism story probably. Yeah. Where if you're so, this talentless, you can have a monster career. <laughs> Failing Upwards, written by Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> Forward by Ryan Kavanaugh. Right. He, but, had, he had a mole on his face that he had removed, and like everyone was making fun of it for years. Chat was saying that his talent was in the mole when he removed the oh, mole. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That could be, though. That is a theory. And then there's one more, and then we'll start the potatoes. Um... Potatoes. Shout out Enrique. We love you, man. This is all for fun. See you soon. <laughs> what the 
Wait, hold on. POV. Waited a lifetime to see Enrique Iglesias sing just to find out he sounds like Elmo. <laughs> Can't sing. <laughs> Yeah, this Hold really on, imagine me. you're actually a huge fan and you're just like, huh? Yeah. It's karaoke. Yeah. yeah. What is he doing? How much do you think he got paid for this show? <laughs> a lot of dough. 100,000 yeah. at least. Yeah. 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 More probably. Yeah. Probably. If it's his show. It's like some William Hung shit, dude. Like, Oh, William Hung was a much <laughs> Wow, I haven't thought of that name. Yeah, Will, yeah. William Long Hung time. was not bad. No, like... It's... He's not a bad singer. Better than oh, fucking Enrique, bad. bro. Probably, yeah, hell yeah. Probably a lot more affordable to see him in, con in live, <laughs> too. <laughs> so that's just Is my... Is he uh, still doing his thing, William? I think he's on a cameo still. On cameo? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Probably kills it on there. Pull that up. Let me watch a few of his. I wonder what um, he gets up to. Sam, you can start bringing out the the, the first round. Uh, well, then hold on. Uh, the judges need to migrate. I mean, they so I'll look the it council. up. Or just if you want to send me a link. Yeah, I got then, the I got the link. And then y'all want to the judges can come sit. Okay. Thank you. All right, everybody. Welcome to the great potato cookoff of 2023. We have four contestants and four judges. The four contestants are Sam, myself, Zachary, and Mr. Lovely. Mr. Love Wide. Uh, the judges will be joining us up here, please. Uh, love, you're sitting up here, right? No, just the judges up there. Why don't you take a seat right oh, over yeah, there? Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh -huh. So we're missing, oh, Dan, I guess. Why don't you take a seat right over there? In the meantime, let's enjoy some William Hung. Uh, cameo Kids Week? What does that mean? They're selling kid cameos? Oh, it's like Yo! cartoons. That's sick. Bippy? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Yeah. They're having a sale on kid cameos. But are they really selling messages? Wait, they're selling messages from kids? That's creepy. Colors Kaleidoscope City. Oh, it's AI. Probably, I'm so huh? excited to be able to send personalized yeah, messages. That is so weird. Holy shit. That's an AI voice. Sesame. Yeah, that was. I, I agree. What's what's Elmo up to? Sesame Street really sanctioned this? Elmo. Elmo is so excited <laughs> to play with you. <laughs> Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> Why would they do that? Baby Shark? I mean, what the hell? This is weird, man. Ryan's toy review? Let's see. Oh, they're all just com Oh, I think okay. It's I'm all very AI. excited to be able to send personalized messages to you, Together's your friends, or any of your family what members. The fuck? That is weird. So this is what happened. They reached out to all these people and they're like, I know it's weird to have a kid do this, so we're gonna AI their voice and then you just get passive income. In truth, it doesn't look like anyone's buying these, and it's just really creepy and weird. <laughs> well, okay. Good stuff. I didn't get to look at William Hong yet. Um, let me just watch one real fast. William Hung, and you probably know Can they see, Ian? Probably know me. Okay, yeah. cool. Me from American Idol as the She Bangs guy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Whether it's to send <laughs> digital Christmas cards, invite friends to your party, or surprise someone for Christmas, I'm here for all the festive fun through personal video messages. The best Wait, news I love William right Hung. now. I wonder if we could do something with him. Like genuinely, I do love him. I think his energy is infectious. I think he's actually not a, he's a pretty decent singer too. Did you see uh, What's his music? the note I dropped? He, he was a, he was a fan. No, I didn't. Should I check that first well, before I go he's, on? He's local. Oh, he's, he bought his, he brought his career as a musician to an end in 2011. He accepted a job opportunity as a technical crime analyst. Whoa! <laughs> At the LA Sheriff's Department, and decided to pursue law enforcement. Yo, Fry. William Hong is a fucking. <laughs> no, but he does. I like the um, technical crime analysis. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that's like Dexter shit. I think. <laughs> right. Famously good guy. The good. Boy. Yeah. Famously good guy, Dexter. Yeah. Um. He, Nothing weird about him. William Hong was. He was one of these contestants that. 
he wasn't like good quote, but okay. everybody loved him. Everybody loved him. And he became like this national celebrity <laughs> for a while, for a couple of years even. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so anyway, pre pre uh, pre internet memes. Well, I guess the internet was around, but smelling good in here. Danielle, this is. Let's see. This is William Hung. Congratulations on getting married. I want to wish you both a long and happy marriage. Here is a song for you. And can you feel the love <laughs> tonight? Like he, oh, that's pretty good. It is where we are. That's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's, actually, it's better than Enrique. Yeah. Yeah. Way, way better. Way better. Way better. Believe the very best. He can hold the tone well. We should. I, I, I'm genuinely like. Can we reach out to him? And see Maybe I don't know. I'd love to collaborate with. Him. What, 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 do you, what do you want to do with William Hill? <laughs> just talk to him first. Of all. You just want to chat with him. And we'll start there, and then probably we can work on some music together or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd love just to connect with him. I find that so. It's so cool because like at the time I was just some kid, and he was like this international celeb. And I'm thinking now, like, oh my God, we might be able to actually rendezvous. <laughs> With Enrique. <laughs> How old were we when that all happened? I feel like I was in like middle school or something. Yeah, it was <laughs> like it was sixth grade. He looks really good, by the way. He hasn't aged a day. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the potato off. We have Woo! the first contestant. All right. Hey. It looks like. Now we're not. Are you judging? I don't know. Wait. Eli? Yeah. Uh, we figured if you she's doing it. You're judging. Yeah, I gave her a judging, pad. I'm a contestant. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But it looks like we have here a pretty standard fare of um, mashed potatoes. Think, are we seeing the close-up, Ian? Sorry, we can't see. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. These are special potatoes. Very good. Mmm. Why are you looking at me and saying that? <laughs> I really like it. I don't know. I mean, ooh. The host. I'm talking to you. That's good. That good. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get a feeling I know who these are. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I don't know who made these. It's quite good. Very good. Nice. You want to tell me about the flavor profiles? Tell me what's going on in your mouths. Hmm. Yeah, how do you describe it? It's like the softness that is in mashed potatoes, but it has like a... Mm -hmm. Not like cheese, but it has... There's a so savoriness to it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Umami? And it's soft. There's a little bit of an umami to it. It has... Um, it's almost like a... But they're soft. Yeah. It's like soft serve ice cream. Interesting. Very similar texture. Very interesting. In, in a good way. Yeah. I'm, that's, I'm saying that in a good way. Well, that's nice mm -hmm. uh, for whoever made these. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, you want to finish mine? What else could I say those about this? And those, those ain't diet. Yeah, here. Those ain't diet friendly. You know what? I, I'm not big into cooking, and I'm definitely haven't watched a lot of cooking shows. But one that I did used to watch quite a bit of was Iron Chef back in the day. <laughs> Both the the original and the American remake. And um, there was this one chef, or not chef, uh, one of the judges that was frequently on there. And it used to crack me up. It became like a meme with who I was watching with because every single dish, <clears throat> everything had a little too much or too little acidity. There's not enough right. acidity. And it was like, you don't even know what you're saying, it's dude. Like that, you, that's the only thing that you know to say about food, and you're just busting that out at every opportunity. I wish it had a little more acidity. A li you just know, a little bit more acidity. Top chef, and they always talk <clears throat> about that too. I've never thought about that in my life. And somehow, but I what did they know use? More means. citric acid? Like what is they say? Uh, more lemon juice? <clears throat> like I get it. Lemon acidity what does it mean? can do a lot to a dish or whatever. Are they just saying lemon juice? What does that I, mean? I guess. It, it probably in most cases, yeah. What else qualifies as um, acidic food? Would vinegar? Vinegar? Like more vinegar? Tomato? Maybe. Is that is acidic? Vinegar? I don't even know if it's acidic. Probably whatever gives you heartburn, right? Like, anything that gives you heartburn? Um, <laughs> so anything I, I eat. Category. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Level of acidity. Hey, hold on. Yeah. Like, what, what is an acidic it's too acidic. food? Just a little more acidity. Let's see. Citrus fruits, obviously. That's the obvious one. <laughs> and that's pretty much all it says. You know? That's it. I'm seeing if the chat knows. It opens up the flavor, says somebody. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I get that it, like, it is important to cooking, but it did just seem like that guy, that was the one fact that guy learned about cooking. Right. But 
at the I, same no, time. They use it a lot because I tell you in Top Chef, they always talk about that. Too. Okay, at fair the enough, same enough. time, not every dish needs That's lemon amazing. juice. <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? Like, not it's, always it's a time and a place. So if you guys want to go ahead, Sam's ready with the next batch. Should we write down our scores? So, a, uh, um, where did AB go? How do we do the score? Out of 10. And out of 10. It out. We're going to do, it's like the NBA dunk Olymp contest. Olympics. By the way, 10. you I, can do points as well. You can do like eight point whatever. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make the math real hard on. Or maybe we shouldn't do that. Yeah, let's keep it round numbers I, to I keep it. I have a bad. generator, so you could do whatever you want. Oh, do whatever you want. Okay, fair enough. You have a what? I have like a, I have a An average calculator open. So. All right, so everybody. Yes, I see everybody warning me about the duck fat in Sam's. That's been accounted for. It's it's all good. Okay. There there are vegetarian what? options being there presented. Duck fat Bye. embedded in somewhere in the. We've thought about it. So um, okay. So deliberate. Think think to your guys' selves here and. Uh, Do we keep it to ourselves or? No, well you're, no, we're no, gonna we're, reveal we'll it. Reveal we'll it. reveal. Yeah. Okay. So is everybody ready? I'm really debating this because I'm on the fence between two choices here. Take your time. I guess we can do points. I, I should just... Full points. Mm. Yeah. Or whatever you want, Dan. You're the judge. You're the... You, you determine your own fate here today. Okay. All right. Whatever you want, Dan. So it looks like the verdict is in. So let's go ahead, judges, and flip it. <laughs> oh, okay. I did it kind of small. So. Okay, so... Lena gives me an... Uh, Lena gave an 8.5. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia gave an 8. AB gave a 10. I love that. That's Dr. A 10. AB. <laughs> did you did you love Let's it go. that much or were you just being are you just trying to Oh, you Oh, this no. guy. How would you do that? Whoa. <laughs> Why would you do oh that? Wow. You gave me the lowest rating of anyone on the I'm panel. Sorry. I'm sorry. His rating has the city. What made you think that that would be funny? <laughs> Dan. <laughs> well, him being mad about it is what's getting me. <laughs> I guess the, 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 com the conflux of it all, yeah. Uh, a generous rating. And Hila gave a 10. And is that because it's That's me, Hila, or is it because you love it? I truly really love it. Thank you. I was considering a 10, but I'm like, it's the first dish. I know, it's a little hard. One? Yeah. What That's if they're better? You gotta leave yourself some headroom. Yeah. That's fair. It's set, we're setting the... I almost gave it a 9. I was on the fence, and I, then I remember we could do decimals, so... Thank you. Thank you, guys. I mean, overall, pretty good. Shame on you, AJ. Doesn't know anything about food. I'm just being honest. I'm sorry. Damn. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, you weren't even <laughs> supposed to know. That was the whole point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, come here, Hila. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, ten. No, I'm, okay. Too late. <laughs> I'm just I'm okay. Excellent. Well, I'm excited to right, keep so we eating have potatoes. Rounds coming up, and I'm very excited to try these because these yeah. are mine, and I don't know who's. Whoa! They're like potato chips. Yeah. Yeah. I love potato chips. So, these are what I like to refer to as potato medallions. Huh? Oh, those look good. Glassy, super yeah, this thin. Looks huh? Really good. You get a good shot. Is this something like this? this looks so good. Is this effectively just mm. a potato chip? Almost. Right. It's got. It. It's just like a like a homemade potato chip, essentially. Yeah. Mm. It's a potato chip plus. Okay. Which that's that's fine by me. You all know. Next year. Wow. Mmm. Mm. That's pretty fun. It's a nice side dish. I can see it. Mixing Absolutely. Well a good smoky right. flavor. You could dip it like a potato dip chip. In it. Mm. Ooh, that one was real crispy. I liked it even more when it was crispy. Really? I like, I like it both. when it's a little soft and mm, soft. Okay. Yeah. Nice seasoning. Yeah. Subtle. Delicious. It could use a little more acidity, little in my opinion. Like but it's quite good. Salt, personally. Salt. Yes. Yeah. Something and, with the taste. It's missing a little oomph. Mm -hmm. But mm. I like it. Good texture. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I like my food salty, so I wasn't going to say that, but a dash more seasoning, perhaps. Right. But, I mean, tastes great. Mm -hmm. That was very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Mm. I have my rating here. So the judges are uh, deliberating. They're going to the, to the scoreboards. They're conferring. Dan and AB are talking uh, quite intently. The girls are chatting. Very good. Yeah. I love those. 
I would be I would be thrilled to get those served to me anywhere. Anytime. Yep. I agree. Yeah. I'd be very happy. Everybody got their scores? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And when you guys are ready, if you could say the scores one by one for just audio as well. Good idea. Oh, Good great idea. call. Right. Um, so, why don't we just do it one by one? Okay. Let's start ahead, with Lena. Uh, go ahead, Lena. I say seven. Seven? I say eight. Eight? I say eight. Another eight? I also said eight. Wow. What? I said 9.8. Oh, wow. And I just put a little salt. <laughs> a little more salt. <laughs> that, you didn't take much off. That was a perfect score. I mean, Nearly. I loved it. If there was a couple more flakes. I'm with you. It was great. Fantastic. <laughs> I mean, he was pregnant. I'm also was hungry. And yeah. <laughs> right, right, so, right. If I, if I was going to rate those, because I'm not a judge, but I would definitely give that like eight and a half, nine. It was very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It looks like Sam's here with the next two. All right. Third contestant here. Oh, this is my shit. <laughs> you like these steak fries? I love these steak mm -hmm. fries. These are kind of like a roasted potato situation. I yeah. have have a problem with the steak fries. Really? It, it, it's the thing is like it's easy to fuck up because it needs to be crispy and pillowy. And true. A lot of times people don't right. cook that shit through. Very, very true. But that it looks good. Has an interesting texture. Thank you. Okay. Mm. So what's gonna that? We got a nice shot of that. Ooh. Hmm. Beautiful. Wow. So good. Whoa. Mm. Good execution. Wow. I like the seasoning. Mm -hmm. Seasoned nicely. Nice seasoning. It's not just salt. There's something else in there. Mm. A little paprika or something. Mm-hmm. I have to try the second one before before I make a call here. I did that too. Yeah, I had to test the uh, consistency mm. of flavor. The first one, I had a complaint, like you were just saying. It's hard to. It wasn't crispy enough on the outside. Inside was okay, but too soft on the outside. This one nailed it. This is nice and crispy on the outside, pillowy on the inside. This would be great with ketchup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some red corn Everything syrup, baby. Really he, so it was far. going for all of it. <laughs> I love it. It's like a crispy skin, but also soft inside. Mm -hmm. So good. You're so red. Yeah. All right, the judges have. Uh, you want to finish it? It was here. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm just thinking. Okay, so the judges are, have returned to their whiteboards mm -hmm. to yeah. deliberate <laughs> to settle the fate. Why? Of all the potato contestants here today, and there's so much on the line, uh, and we honor all contestants, everyone who enters the arena, uh, wins in the heart and minds of the people. <sighs> Judges ready? Ready. All I right. think so. Alina, go ahead. Ten. Oh, wow. shit. Ten? Ten. Whoa. Wow. Ten. <laughs> Seriously? Whoa. 9.9. You win. Knocked it a couple points or one point for um, that first one, just the outside not being crispy enough, but the second one made up for it. And I did 9.85. Wow. That's a perfect <laughs> potato. That's a clear front runner here. So I, I, personally, it's not my thing. I don't like it because, no, it was good. It was very good. <laughs> I give it like an eight again, probably. Very mm -hmm. good. But I think my thing, the fry, the crunchy to soft ratio, it's not a good balance. There's too much soft and not enough crunchy. I think that's why I knocked it points for consistency. Maybe it would have been fair to be a little bit lower than this because again, the, the first fry I had was probably an 8.5. The second fry I had was a 10. Well, also to be, so, but be fair to the chef. If they were all like that second one, it would be clear 10. Mine was good. Like yeah. It was crunchy on the outside and soft inside. To that's be fair to want. the chef, it was reheated. And that mm -hmm. Oh, fry true. Tonight, so. Yeah, because everybody true. made it at home. That's right. true. I made mine this morning. I, I think everyone did. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, wow. People are loving. <laughs> this is the best, dude. I love potatoes, man. It's just this is a great all about it. What a great <laughs> potato the hell of a thing, huh? <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> You're want, jealous? Yeah, I want food too. We're, yeah, get, oh. we don't have enough. Well, not some go. I mean, I made enough for everybody. Yeah, I'll get some after. Okay. After. We'll get seconds. Yeah. Uh, can I have some after? 
No, Cameron. <laughs> Shut up, Cam. Cam, you can help yourself. Go ahead. You guys are not tough enough. Thank <laughs> you. I mean, I liked your guys' rating, too. Why not? Oh, well, you cooked, Cam. Right. No, you no, didn't. No, I, I cooked out. out. I dropped there, out. There's a lot of lot of things going on already to play all this. Oh, you dropped out? Yeah, I dropped out. Last uh, minute uh, injury? Yeah, my potato <laughs> fucking hand. Strained his uh, too much. How many Strained people? His I'll be oh, back okay, next season. Oh, four. Four people. Yeah. Young Zachariah is somewhere on here. Wow. I've never had uh, something that Zach cooked. Oh, very interesting. So here comes contestant number three. Hmm. Interesting situation. Looks like lots of herbs on there. I love herbs. Very herby. I love them. Jellyfish and herbs. <laughs> oh, who was that? XQC. Well, XQC. Jellyfish? Yeah, he's he asked if jellyfish was an herb. Really? I mean, that's awesome. I made herb. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> Shit, I haven't thought about it before. Is it? I don't believe so, no. Right. Kinda. <laughs> I'd say it's a gray space. Well, well, who's to say, really, at the end of the day? Yeah, what is a herb? Yeah. And what is it? Thank you, Sam. So let's take a look here at contestant number three. We're featuring a nut, almost like a potato latka right. style. Mm. Thin, smashed... Soft in the middle. He's always got that one yeah. ready to go. Zach, you're a little too fast with that, buddy. If you weren't Jewish, it'd be a problem. Right. Shalom, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but mm. so, so soft in the middle, crunchy on the side. See? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Mm, that rosemary. That rosemary. Interesting. Yeah. The potato is seasoned with something unusual. Or they've captured some kind of flavors in there. So I've got What's nice, this? nice soft outside, crunchy on the out, you know. It's in. got the skin on, right? Is that skin on? I think that's yeah. What it is. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, no, I think it's skin on. Yeah. This is good. He's a little seasoning, but again, I'm a salty boy. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, it's and I'm, salt. I'm I could use more salt on this as well, but. But at least everything is so good. Yeah, I can yeah. say imp impressive so far. Yeah, not bad, man. How close to lakas are hash browns? Like not at all. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of different kinds of hash browns. Laka is basically just a potato pancake. It's way denser. It's got egg and flour in it. It's like a little. Right. That, I think like that's a little the hamburger thing. patty. Almost. Right. Right. Damn! And good. boy, are they good, I gotta say. I don't know, because the competition is tough. Damn. Everybody's really good. Damn! So the third contestant, everybody uh, judges. Mm -hmm. Judges are considering Damn. all the options. Ooh. Dan is tortured over huh. uh, this, this tough, tough decision. Jacket off. Somebody gifted uh, 20 memberships, by the way. Chur Churkas. <laughs> Thank you, Chirk Pez. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for calling that out, too, Dan. I hate Sorry. to miss them. Um, David, thank you for the dono. It's just potato emojis. We love that about you. <laughs> Very good. That was, that was the toughest one yet to write. Yeah, this is a hard one. I really liked it. I just feel a little overwhelmed by the oil mm -hmm. or whatever it's cooking. Or like butter. There's yeah. Kind of like, yeah. It's the only one. I, I, can I give my? I don't want to. I don't want to uh, poison the well. Well, I think we've all written our we scores, wrote, so yeah. I, it's the only one I didn't finish, and I think it's because. Well, I've eaten a lot of potatoes already. So that, <laughs> Not a part of it. But also because it's it's a little oily and it's a little and for my taste a little under seasoned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agree. Okay. Well, let's start with Lena again. Seven. We give it a seven. Good score. Seven point five. Mm. Nine for AB. Nine for me. Mm. Eight. Oh. Eight for Mila. Okay. Good range. AB, you really hated my potato, bro. <laughs> you know what? It, it didn't. It didn't taste as unhealthy as the other ones, and I like like really unhealthy food. I feel like that one's got to be the <laughs> yeah. most unhealthy, bro. Yeah. I don't know. This Yours? One, this Ooh. last one feels very buttery. Dude, yeah. My mashed potatoes is like 50% butter and cream cheese. Yours tasted too pure. Oh, interesting. But which is which was a good thing. Sure. But yeah. 
I need some nasty. Interesting. I really like this one. I, I only, I was debating between a 10 and a 9. Really? Um, personally, oh. uh, the reason I knocked it was the same reason you stated. I do wish it was had more salt. Yeah. Um, I did really like the herb seasoning a lot, though. And I feel like that with some salt would have definitely knocked it up to a 10. But and I think that a little short. can was a nice. I love that. It is nice. Yeah. I don't mind that it was so oily personally. <laughs> like, I I just accepted that I'm eating an oily ass potato right now. Yeah. And <laughs> that's okay. Hold it is again worth remembering memory remembering that uh this is being reheated. Mm -hmm. True. And this is a fried item. Yeah. Very true. That's true. So that's true. uh congratulations. Cass says, There's more. I went to a Pitbull concert on a random one-off, and it was the most wild experience. Man did an entire America tribute for 10 minutes. Hell yeah. Pitbull loves America. He sure does. <laughs> um, somebody, uh, somebody here has been to a Pitbull concert, right? Really? Oh, it's Sam. That's right. Oh, yeah. She's a Pitbull fan. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Was it really good? So fun. He, he's a performer, right? Like, that man puts on a show. Yeah, it was, it was really, really good, actually. Oh my goodness! So this is a, this <laughs> definitely a sweet potato in it, which right. is not potato to be clear, right? But is it mixed in with uh, potato? Right. I mean, it's yeah, it's a, uh, a squash, right? Sweet potato isn't it essentially the same it thing? Is. As, yeah, or a, a gourd or something. Am Wait, I wrong? sweet potato is not a potato? <laughs> uh, no. I mean, like all vegetables, it's all kind of. They're not. It's not a. Well, here, let's see. It grows up above ground. Out? A sweet potato. Oh, it's a root. A root vegetable. Right. Uh, oh, a root. It's still rooted, damn it. So they're both roots. Then, Starchy, eh? tuberous it says they root. they're not actually related. How interesting is that? Huh. Both the potato and sweet potato originated from Central and South America. They are actually not related. They come from different families, with potato coming from the nightshade and the sweet potato coming from morning glory family. Who put potato in the title then? How interesting. Well, I mean, I get it. They seem similar. It's they hard like... to imagine that, you know, nature produced two so similar looking mm -hmm. things that aren't related. Happens a lot though, right? Darwin uh, uh, talked about that. It Convergence? <laughs> Convergent evolution, yeah. I think is what it's called. Nope. The big example of that is how, uh, I, I believe that over uh, the history of evolution on Earth, crabs have emerged like oh. dozens and dozens of different times, like mm -hmm. totally unrelated, but like they wind up <clears throat> being crab-like creatures. That, that makes me wonder if on alien planets that host life, how similar it would end up to what we know as life. Because if there's, it's just, I mean, the natural order of things is the same there as it is here. Yeah, I mean. Unless it's got like a different atmosphere. Different atmosphere, it could affect liquid. things a lot, yeah. Okay. But Since if it's Earth, like a watery planet, it, yeah, Earth-like planet, yeah, you know, maybe there's me out there um, saying this at the exact same is time. Is yam and sweet potato the same thing? Yes. Hold on. Or this not the same thing necessarily, is, but they're they're those myth. are more related than potatoes. This says myth. Sweet potatoes are yams. That's a myth. Apparently. That's a myth. That's what this says here. I didn't. I didn't. Well, I don't think that they are yams, but I thought they were more closely related than. Uh, Did anyone try it? No, not yet, actually. I have not tried it. Interesting. I'll say visually, not the most. <laughs> Looks like baby food a little bit. Pal palatable. But that's okay. That's what I was going to say. It reminds me of baby food. Yeah. And like when my sister is trying to feed her baby, but she keeps spitting it out because they don't like the veggies. But yeah. <laughs> They're good though. Yeah, no. They are good actually. Yeah. Tastes good. It's, nice. it's a nice kind of puddingy, mm -hmm. sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very savory. Mm hmm. Could use a little more acidity. <laughs> a little more. <laughs> Oh yeah, I wanted to thank uh, Stowe as you guys consider the. It's almost like too soft. If that makes sense. Yeah. Too. Yeah. I feel you. I want to say thank Tiny. Thank you for the five gifted. Love you. Thank you, Jacob's proud madre. We love you, mom. Thank you for the ten gifted. Um. Uh, 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 mom, I'm sorry. Did I hit them all? <laughs> uh. All right, so the somebody just have. Did you see the one where they asked you to dance? No. Oh, well, somebody donated ten dollars and said, "When we get an Ethan dance at some point." 
I don't know. I guess not. I don't know. I, I don't think I'll work it in. I'll work it in. <laughs> I just don't feel like standing up right now for all No, time. yeah, you know, maybe not right now. Yeah. They said at some point, so. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Jesus. That's not right now. <laughs> Can't do it. All right. Even though I'm gay. Oh, yeah, I got to rate these uh, sweet potatoes. So this is the yeah. fourth <laughs> entry, the final entry, in fact. Mm -hmm. We have um, the first entry that's not purely a potato. A little different little orange indicating the presence of sweet potato or yam honestly i think maybe adding sweet potato was a risk because while it's healthier maybe i think potato is superior yeah. you, like, you is stick it, with the og yeah, yeah i mean because nobody wants sweet potato fries they just get them because they're like Maybe it's a little. Sometimes you think uh, maybe it's a little healthier. Sometimes sweet potato fries can really hit. I don't oh, yeah. know. Would you get sweet potato? Fries? I, I go yeah. for sweet potato fries sometimes. Yeah. 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 Interesting. It's like um. That's it's like onion rings. Like sometimes like you you go and you want to switch it up a little bit. I don't yeah. get onion rings very often, but sometimes I'm like, I'll get the onion rings. I this like time. onion rings. Well, the onion rings aren't trying to be healthy though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. But just in the sense of like, I don't feel like the nor you know. I'm always having the standard fries. Let me let's do some sweet potato fries. Mm -hmm. I didn't know sweet potato fries were healthy. Or like I mean, it's probably it's still fried, so I yeah. it depends how it's prepared. I mean, if it's right. deep, it's probably better than potato either way you make it, though. Maybe. Yeah. I think psychologically it feels better. All right. Okay. Are we ready? This is the fourth contestant. Judges, uh, Lena. Um, I think six. A six. Ooh. Seven point five. Okay. Seven point five. Seven point five. Six point five for uh, AB. I did seven point five as well. And seven. And seven. Okay. I think that that sounds like it averages to a seven. <laughs> the people have spoken. <laughs> Still very good. Didn't didn't blow my socks off like yep. some of the others. And so now that uh, all the votes are in, in the back we will have Ian triangulate the numbers mm. and present us from bottom to top. The order. Uh, we have supercomputers crunching uh, in the back. Um, we have our, the best and brightest minds currently working <laughs> on the averages. I'm the sorry, sums. Dave. I'm afraid I can't do the that. The square roots are being calculated. The circumference. I'm afraid <laughs> I can't do that. The diameter. It's all happening backstage. And, um, and, uh, we actually have the same mathematician that Dream hired. Mm. To prove oh. he didn't cheat, calculating in the back. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need an essay from him about why I didn't win. <laughs> zucchini fries. Okay, oh. zucchini fries are always good. Those are good. Like, and I, you know, those I love those. Mm -hmm. You dip that shit in ranch. Fuck this. Those are so good. And I believe there's some uh, bonus. Uh, bacon potatoes that are currently being made as well. Oh. A bonus dish. That sounds oh amazing. Oh, wait, Dan, you ate all four of them. Was there no duck fat one? Uh, she had made an alternative ah, vegetarian one and assured nice. me that I would be served that one. Nice. Wow. And I was. Wow. <laughs> well, I try, I try, I, yeah, I don't think so. High level stuff oh, happening behind the scenes. Well, that's so nice how we accommodate, uh, yeah. our special yes. needs. Sam is always very conscious. <laughs> conscientious. Special needs? So, thank you. I, or maybe special <laughs> requests, not special needs. <laughs> I was saying I have special needs. Yeah, that's the proper way Dietary to use special needs. needs. Yeah, I am very, I'm very special. He has special needs. Yeah, his special need was non. Get out of here, Zach. Non carcass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dan is our special needs. Uh... We might oh, be we overdoing it. <laughs> overdoing it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about don't that. Don't see what you're going for though. Apologies about that one. <laughs> um, flew, flew a little close to the sun. <laughs> Ian, how's it going back there with the calculating? Give him one more second. Okay, the the numbers are still being crunched. <laughs> the computer is still working on it. Hold on. The computer's You're smoking. smoking, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody quick, put a fan on it. The computer's on fire. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Throw some water, water on it. Like you did yesterday. Put some potatoes on it and cook it. You know, I have a theory about why my computer exploded. Mm. There, ugh. Did it explode? Is that what no, happened? No, no, that the, okay. the, the power, power supply did. Supply did. Okay. So sometimes the gardener in back, oh, he waters 
You I don't think know that's why he does. Why? He waters the ground. Yes. <laughs> I've seen that. Concrete. He waters the concrete. Oh, I wonder, I've mm. heard that before. And, and when I'm in the <laughs> office there, I have the, the door. I, he literally, he waters he the concrete. He waters the floor. Why is he doing that? <laughs> you guys, I frankly don't really he's know. He's just racking up the hours, dude. <laughs> Ask him yeah. to stop doing yeah, that. I mean, yeah, I, I don't like that he does it at all. And then people just step in it and then it gets dirty. <laughs> I guess, to, does that like just to clean the, dirt, the dust off of it, I guess? I think it's to clean the floor, but it doesn't make sense if you just wet everything. He doesn't and remove the dirt. He no, just wets it and then it dries it again. Wet. He's very elusive too. So I love that. <laughs> he's elusive. He's huh? hard to get at. <laughs> I kind of like that. So, but anyway, the theory is that because I leave the door cracked for Alfredo, right? And he's gone through there while I'm in the office working, and he's just squirting water <laughs> in the fucking office. <laughs> and my, I'm like, dude, chill. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, that that definitely. That my computer is on the ground, close. Yeah. It's not huh? super close. Right. I could draw a kind of a chart. I didn't <laughs> think that it, he could possibly hit it, but my goodness. <laughs> it doesn't take a whole lot of moisture to. I never to thought fuck about your, that, uh, but I think you were on shit something. there. Because I can't think of any other reason why my shit exploded. But anyway, uh, the the computer <laughs> is buzzing. Um, uh, it looks like we have the results. Um, there's a bonus one it's, here. I have just all of them uh, listed here. Let's do start from the bottom, the least to the top. Here, I can just I'll do it like this. So in last place, with a six point nine, that's right, the sex number <laughs> was Zach. Oh no, Zach! <laughs> I'm surprised with your potato. Per he had what, the, uh, the that was the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes? Yeah. Tell, tell me about the process. Well, I want to thank Trader Joe's. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> stick of butter, man. Hell yeah. Wait, why did you thank Trader Joe's? Wait. Because those are uh, Trader Joe's. <laughs> you just bought them from Trader Joe's? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? They're good, oh man. So you didn't make it? I mean, I doctored them up. I added salt, pepper, butter. Okay, this shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one was the hardest for me to eat, and you didn't even make it. It was The uh, texture was nasty, bro. <laughs> I tried, man. It wasn't nasty. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. <laughs> Sam, what are the... Zach, what uh, the hell? I tried, man. Well, I mean, it's, come nice, on. it's nice to know at least the, sh the store-bought shit got the lowest rating. I'm glad you tried, though. That yeah. would have... Yeah, I'm... I mean, yeah. I gave you the old college try. It's just Even I, the baby food uh, <laughs> comparison. I couldn't. I couldn't get past it. The college dropout. Maybe I shouldn't have said that before we ate it. Yeah, you fucked me, Dan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Zach, uh, okay. congratulations. Shout out to shout Trader out. Joe's. You know? Yeah. And how did you buy this? How did it come? Uh, it comes frozen, and they're like whole, whole potatoes. Um, and they get when you heat them up, they get soft. Um, mm. and I just. Uh, Can you find me a picture of the product? I want to see <laughs> what exactly we're working with here. Sure. Trader Joe's frozen yeah. sweet potatoes. Let's see. Um, I just want to get all the in intel that we can um, <laughs> to give it the best. Mm -hmm. Here, tell me. If, oh, this has got to be it. This has got to <laughs> be it. Yeah. yeah. Is this it, Zach? Yeah, that's it. Oh man, <laughs> that shit's vile, bro. Good, I'd, probably, man. I'd probably like it, honestly. It looks kind of good. It wasn't bad. It. It Why? Wasn't they're, bad. I give it an honest rating, 7.5. Look at, look at this shit, they're like, yo, look how good these ones look. And then this is actually, you get this shit. <laughs> okay, shout out Joe's. Alright, coming in third. Uh, so, I guess... It, it's a little complicated, I, I forgot that Love actually had two entries. He did? Yes. Which, so just there were five two? total. Is it this Wait, last one? Five? Is another one? Uh, that's just that bonus? one was just a bonus, yeah. No, but there were five entries. Love, love doubled up. He brought in two different styles, and so, so how should we do it? Was did one of them get a significantly different? One is the winner. But didn't we eat four? Damn. So I'm confused. Hmm? Didn't we eat four things? Instead, so, because you're saying we ate five yeah, things. Yeah, we, had we ate five things. We did. We sure did. Oh. Okay, well, you just spoiled the winner, Dan. Oh, we the only did one. No, it's too late. We only did... Oh, the button? It's too late. Yeah. Now it's probably too late. So, let's just, um... 
well, should we should we say both of give his him, entries? Give then? him the highest, and then we'll do the honorable mention afterwards. Yeah. So let's just do Here, third. why don't I just run through them real quick? So the next okay. one is Sam's with an 8.1. That was the duck fat one. <laughs> Which one is that? Uh, I believe that that was the one that was you were Mush. saying was kind of like a potato locky. Hold on, okay. we need we need images. Yeah. Well, I don't have images. Okay. So it was um, is it? I guess it's this one with it's, the yeah, yes. the one that looks exactly like that. Okay. Um, the ones I made that you tasted before were fried in duck fat, and those were fried in bacon fat. Uh, so it's it, slightly different. Flavor. So Sam, tell me about your process here. Um, I see you did the crunch, the smash technique. Yeah, so I uh, parboiled the potatoes and then I smashed them mm. and then I fried them in duck fat and they're basted with uh, tarragon butter. Mm. Oh, Ooh. that was the, the special flavor. Tarragon butter. <laughs> and I mean, it, what it, is tarragon? Tarragon? It's some kind of herb. It's a herb. It's a herb. Mm. Yeah. Tarragon. Sounds like some cool fucking tech shit. <laughs> yeah. Sam, um, how was it transferring from a fried or baked state and then reheating it? Do you think that worked against you or do you think you worked that in okay? Um, I think it was all right. I was going to air fry them and uh, our air fryer broke when I plugged it in. Oh no. Oh, no. Yeah. That's what so I was trying to do. I had to heat I had earlier. to heat everything up a different way. Uh, oh, that's a shame. Okay. Well, Sam, thank you uh, for the... Yeah. Everything was still tasting really good. <laughs> and then Dan's special preparation, you just cooked it in like canola oil or what? Yeah, what was the difference? Oh, no, I, I cleaned the pan in between and I just fried those as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, what you No, fry? but the actual just original oil. dish. Not the reheating. Oh, what? with oh with the duck fat. I just used butter. Just mm. used butter? Yeah. Okay. There you go, butter. No animals died in the making no, of the butter. I dug it, so. yeah. All right, so next up is Love, one of Love's Dish, okay. with an 8.16, so barely <laughs> edging out oh. Sam's. And that was the chips, the ones Chippies. that were essentially I love, potato chips. That was really fun. That was, I loved the chips. Yeah. Thank you. Those Thank may you. have been my favorite, besides, you know, uh, not including myself, of course. The ones that <laughs> had, like, a little bit of softness inside was so that, good. That, to me, is a perfect yeah. potato. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's the ratio of the crispy yeah. and the soft. inside soft. It's like, and then you want, I feel like you want as much surface area as possible to That's get the like seasoning mm -hmm. in there and get the crunchiness. Those were great. Yeah, the sheepies, they're fun because it's so easy. You just fucking take a little... Uh, uh, she's fucking juice oh, radar. That's how you and boom, 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 boom. Oh. Slap them, the uh, slap everything in a bowl. Toss that around with some herbs. Nice. Boom, done. And oh. then, did you bake it or fry it? Uh, I had it in the oven. Yeah. Tell me about the temperature and the uh, time. Uh, Three seventy for a long time. I don't, I don't calculate. Oh, we're effing. And then, do you crowd them or do you space them out like one each? Crowd that shit. Oh. You just uh, it. slight you overlap. Um, I have a little bit of. I think we crashed. I think it, we're effing. Mm -hmm. We're up. We're effing. We're up. Uh, I think we it's crashed? that thing oh. that happens where the app all crashes for people. Oh. We oh, okay. we're not actually down. Right, right, right. Everybody's thing so, simultaneously. Thanks. Crashed shout out YouTube. That shit's still been happening. Like I see yeah. our views swinging by like ten thousand regularly. Right. Yeah, it's crazy. It's psychotic. Good YouTube, stuff. you're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> We're all rooting for you. But I'm surprised, Sam. I thought I had a little bit of a S in my sleeve or whatever. I also used the tarragon herb. <laughs> yeah, oh, tarragon. Nice. Oh. I, yours growing... were really good. Yours were great. I tried yours. Thank you. Uh, I haven't tried yours yet. But <coughs> my dad always used tarragon for <coughs> a lot of things when I was younger. So I've just grown to like it. And I figured oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do some of the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of tarragon. I don't, I've never cooked with tarragon. Is the, my favorite herb. Mm. So yeah. here is tarragon. This is this looks beautiful. It looks, I think I know what it is. Aromatic. The thing is, I typed this one first, tarragon <laughs> phonetically, and there's some kind of like a, a swastika came up, <laughs> but not that, right? No, no, definitely not. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Unassociated with the herb mm -hmm. that we all love. Now what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love those. Nice, man. good they're job. Good. Those are really good. I might do that. I think that's a good recipe. Yeah, too. and you, I use uh, what's it called, the uh, rapeseed oil. 
Rapeseed oil. No. Li- no, I swear to God, that's what I it's called. I can't say that. In, in the Swedish, is rapeseed. It's literally, I'm not fucking saying. kidding. It's pronounced rapeseed oil. I think we should adapt the Swedish way of saying Yeah, it's just rapeseed oil. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just, just being real. <laughs> well, we we understand understand th- being real. I ain't saying that. I think rapeseed oil is canola oil. Yeah, uh, canola oil uh, for the potatoes. Right? And it's then the same I, thing. Yeah, and then Probably. also I made, um, I put the, ter- oh, garlic. Tarragon and garlic mm. in the oil, <laughs> and I just let it, that should brew for a sec. And then mm-hmm. I poured that over the potatoes before nice. I put them in. Yummy. So yeah. you did canola. Canola for the potatoes in majority, but I also made um, tarragon and garlic oil that I let sit for a while mm-hmm. to kind Rape of juice seed. it up. Just so people don't think I'm being <laughs> silly. Rapeseed. <laughs> That's how it's, you know what I mean? Rapeseed. <laughs> yes, it's just the oil. What's the, what Rapeseed. could possibly be wrong about me playing this? Just YouTube. It's literally a household oil. Literally Rapeseed. everybody's. Canola oil. <laughs> you know what? Zach, can you <laughs> pull that or no? Rapeseed. I would prefer not. <laughs> Rapeseed. Okay. It's just an oil. Fuck. Explain that to the algorithm, Ethan. They figure it out. They know what I'm doing. Uh, they know what, they know the oil. You know, I was listening to your Thanksgiving drama explanation. <laughs> yeah, the drama. And the big I drama. think you're right that it was the aluminum thing. It's a fucking pan. Because he, when he made it the night before, it was really good. I got gaslit into using that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to call anyone out, but I got some bad advice. I was like, are you sure? I was a few yeah. people. I was like, are you sure? Yeah. And they're like, no, it's the same. I was like, okay, <laughs> trusting. I'm deferring to uh, to life experience on this. Trusting others, five percent more. <laughs> yeah, thank you though for backing me up on mm-hmm. that. All right. By thank- the way, real quick, I boiled the potato before. That's the trick. Oh, you did. The medallion one. Bo- yeah, both of my potatoes. I boiled Wait. them. Wait. So when do you cheese grate it? Yeah. Uh, after I boil it. So you, you just can still cheese grate it. Because I don't boil it too long. It's just a soft, ah. yeah. Just soften the it up a bit. The edges soften up a little bit. When ah. you cut it, you'll see the heart. The middle is still ah, hard. Very. That's also why the outside gets crispy and the middle is ah. still kind of uncooked. Okay, love. Yeah. Okay. Shit. The dude knows his way around his yeah. cheese grater. Sheesh. That's great. I gotta make those. That that I love. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Dan, or huh? no, Ian. Uh, ne- are you guys saying next up? Next yeah, next up. up, please. All right, next up was Ethan <coughs> with where did it go? There it is. With the score of eight point four. That's so Ooh. nice. That's pretty good. So yours didn't were ex- obviously the mashed potatoes at the beginning. That's so nice. I didn't expect. Um, I didn't expect to. I was worried this morning when I was cooking them because, huh. like, you know how I'm. I'm tweaking everything, but it came out really nice. I'm glad you guys liked it. Yeah. And the next yeah, one is last one. My technique on those is basically to something I focused on today, which I think actually worked out well. Is I boiled usually I just spoil the fuck out of them. Okay. And it makes it really creamy. But what I did today is I kept a close watch and. Just boiled it up to the exact moment where it was like mm-hmm. fork soft and no longer because it starts to like disintegrate. Yeah, and so From there it was a lot harder to mash But in the end it had more of a it had more texture, texture which I, I did I think like is the good, texture which I think people yeah is good But yeah, I mean what's in it is really simple Um, because I like all the herbs and shit, but when it comes to this I just keep it real simple just salt pepper cream cheese and butter mm-hmm that's it. But like AB said, it tastes light and not unhealthy. <laughs> somehow. It's not. Those that shit is crazy, <laughs> dude. Maybe because it was a it wasn't completely fresh. I feel like if it's fresh, it'd feel it would taste a lot better. Yes, it, it does taste better when it's like right off the stove. <laughs> on, but so I think everybody did a good job pre, um reheating everything. It still tasted fresh. Yeah, I'm not gonna make excuses. I think it reheated well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was fine. Um you know, somebody said everyone's lying to you, Ethan. <laughs> Wait. About, about what? what? Yeah, I guess I don't know. I thought it would be funny to read, but apparently it's just confusing. <laughs> Was it worth all the lie? <laughs> <laughs> I, I told the truth. 
Oh, so you're implying the others <laughs> lied. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm playing. Damn, I'm not gonna forget what you did to me, dude. That <laughs> fucking ten. Damn, that, that was, was cold, brutal. Bro. That was cold. Yeah. You know, for everything. Damn. It hits deep. It hits deep. It hit me it too. Deep. Even just sitting yeah, next to you, I got hit. I felt it really deep. You know. You broke my heart. Listen, I was raised on potatoes. I got, I got some high standards. Absolutely. <laughs> no, it's not that you didn't like it, AB. It's the, it's the that I didn't like the delivery, bro. <laughs> I know the it ten. You first. hit me with the ten, and then you swapped it out. And then you took it, it away. I mean, I mean, why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just you know, man. Just a prank. It's painful, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about that tonight. That moment when I saw that seven revealed. You broke my heart. I was like, God damn. At that moment, my heart crushed into a million different pieces, dude. You know? Somebody says, <laughs> we're all gonna act like Ethan didn't sabotage that air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I was my thinking God. that. Oh yeah. Well, you know, I gotta do. I do whatever it takes to win. <laughs> but ultimately, I didn't win because loves steak fries. Yes. So love did two submissions. I didn't even. I didn't even know. He brought so two different versions, and the Excellent. steak fries blew everybody's socks off. Wow. How is that's crazy? That is crazy. I'm kind of surprised just because, like, for me personally, I thought your other potato dish was way better. I love that one. You like the the chips more? Yeah. I mean... Universal acclaim, though, by the judges. Yeah, I, the good. only reason it missed the perfect score is because I knocked it down a few points. Or maybe somebody else did, too. And I knocked it down for the consistency issue. And so it's possible that you just got two mediocre ones. You know what I mean? Can I ask... They didn't hit it, quite as hard as the ones that we got. Is it possible and uh, that my going first could have resulted in a lower score? Um, yes, it's totally hard to me. score the first one. It is it hard is. to score the first one, you know. But have I'm, a baseline I'm happy, yet. you know, I'm happy because with because you second. don't know where to go from there, right? right. Yeah, no, although yeah, I'm, I'll sense. say I gave you an 8.5, I believe, in that first round. And thinking back, I, I don't know if that's inaccurate. I think an 8.5, yeah. yeah, I was happy with that. Yeah, me. I thought that was nice. So, okay, just, you know, the seven my case, had me raise my eyebrows, but. I would have gone higher if it wasn't the first, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. In all honesty, I would too. It's mm. like the mashed potatoes you know and love, but with like a little twist, the secret yeah. ingredient. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the, in truth, I was never going to get a perfect score, so love's supremacy is unchallenged. Love's <laughs> supremacy. So tell me about these wow. legendary steak fries, love. <laughs> Rated it's, perfect by H3 Podcast. I think it's the boil before, honestly. Because when you boil hmm. it, it becomes a little bit gritty, almost. Uh, it has ridges. It's not flat. And I think those gritters kind of catch some oil, mm. catch the seasoning a little bit. I don't know. Uh, Are you secretly a master chef? I, I, I've been hinting to it. I, well, I'm not a master chef like Just Sam. Just hearing you talk about the ridges and the <laughs> half boil. He's cheese grating. No, I cook yeah. what I like. That's pretty much it. I don't, I'm not like a master chef or anything. I don't know. Yeah, no, but. Very good. It's man. just vibes, you know. Just vibes. <laughs> so, just vibes. how do you cut the potato into the fries? I cut, I cut it half, and then I flat, laid flat, and I cut like that. So they're small. They're kind of small, medium-sized potatoes. No, th these were actually probably big potatoes. I'd say. It, I kind of. It's just a vibe. But really. it's a quarter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's half, and then it's the halves are split in three like it's that. Right so now. you get the veg wedges, right? I see. I see. Mm -hmm. So it's thirds yeah. uh, per yeah. half. And if it's a small potato, you can cut it half and then like that, uh, quarters. Depends. And you, then if you um, cut them if you so then you put them in the boiler and kind of do the same thing where you just get it a little soft on the outside. Uh, I boil before I cut. Boil before you cut. Yep. That's the interesting thing that I didn't expect. Mm -hmm. I would never expect that because I always assume like you boil it until it's so soft. Right. At that point, you can't cut it. That's a that's so, a nice technique to learn that I'm picking up. If you take your knife and kind of um, hit them a little bit, you you'll you'll feel that the outer layer is soft. But then when you get into the core, it just stick on the knife when you pull it up. Still, if mm -hmm. it if it if it goes off the knife when you lift it, you boil it too far. 
Mm. It's too much pork. And then what do you do if you boiled it too far? Then I make You're mash, done. mashed potatoes. You just fuck, say fuck it. You're yeah. done, son. <laughs> yeah. And um, are you surprised that you swept it with a perfect score, love? Does that surprise you or is this what yeah. you expected? No, I didn't expect that. I was just chilling, vibing. <laughs> Uh, I figured I'd make some potatoes, but I didn't think I would win. Not over Sam, because I know she's actually a good chef. The thing, yeah. I think Sam's, if they were fresh out of the stove, would have would have done. Uh, I would have liked them a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. That's a tough one to reheat. Definitely. Well, yours were really good, though. Oh well, thank you. I really <laughs> that, liked them. I tried both. I thought they were great. That's very nice of you. That means a lot. Sam, a gracious, uh, gracious competitor. She <laughs> truly is one of a kind. <laughs> so talented. I can't believe you were able to reheat without the without the air fryer. I was sweating. Yeah, you yeah, get a queen. You get a turn on reheating. Today. They were delish. Me and Dan were in the lab trying to fix it. <laughs> and love, you had mentioned doing this kind of springy potato. Right. What yeah. happened with that? It's just too hard. And I got two big potatoes. So when I cut them and I I tried one and it just was it didn't too work. Big. Yeah, yeah, it seems really difficult to pull yeah, off. Too annoying. Hmm. Well, I think we learned a lot. Zach, was your intention always to just buy something from Trader Joe's? <laughs> uh, or did something happen and you said, fuck it? <laughs> um, yeah, I was always to buy from Trader Joe's. That's Joe. fine. I'm not judging you. I just remember you were very excited to participate. I was excited about I was potatoes. excited to eat something that Zach cooked. Yeah. Me too. And I mean, that, that was taken away from I'm me. a good cook, but uh, I don't know what happened, bro. Fucking pan was too hot. I don't know. <laughs> pan was too hot? <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> Fucked up. Not the right butter, maybe? Did you expect to get... <laughs> did you expect to score well with those? I mean, I thought they were an underdog, man. <laughs> you thought maybe they'd win. They're they're heaters, man. You had this fantasy that you would come out and win, and then be like, It's from Trader Joe's, <laughs> idiot. They were my Rudy, man. <laughs> They were my fucking Johnny Football Rudy, man. You know, but they let me down. Fuck. Fuck I, you, I, Joe. I, I tried. <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. I got a question for you, Zach. Yes, sir. Did you make the cashier's day at Trader Joe's at least? <laughs> right. I did, yes. I'm sure you did. Hey, uh, yeah. You guys shat up big time? Oh, yeah. What'd oh, they yeah. ask you? How's your day going? And then what'd you say? Fine. <laughs> and then did you did you follow up with anything? <laughs> um, I, Sometimes I, I like to divert the conversation, like just say fine, you know, to try and end it, see what they say next. Oh, and you they, put it on them. If they are, you know, receptive and give it back, then yeah, I'll be open to conversation. But if I just say the mm -hmm. fine, then no. Uh, and so what happened in that moment? Was it open or closed? Uh, it was open. They're like, uh, what are you up to? I'm like, uh, I'm buying some taters. And it's like, obviously, doesn't they annoy always, you? They Does, always ask questions. Doesn't that annoy you? They say, what are you up to? I and then you say, that. I'm buying potatoes. It's like, yeah, <laughs> well, you're the one uh, that is selling me the potatoes. I, I, will, I hate that. I you, will say the more and more I get older, that I, I do see the point of like, yeah, this could get annoying. Like if I'm not in the mood and I'm just like, I don't know, like having an off day or something like that, then yeah, I don't want anyone to fucking talk to me. That's interesting because I thought it was the opposite. As you get older, you just start talking to anybody. <laughs> yeah. See, I got the Benjamin Button disorder where it's like I, I got the older part first and then, you know the more i get older the more younger i get i guess right right so i don't go to trader yo's because they talk to me too much it's really annoying <laughs> i get social anxiety hold on and yeah. they're like so any plans for the weekend bro. And it's like yeah i'm not gonna talk to you it's about creepy, my weekend though. bro like sometimes they get own. too specific and it creeps me out it's like why are you asking me what i'm or asking going you to about do? what you're buying where are you going right now it's like <laughs> why are you asking me that dude mind your own fucking business did you drive here or do you live nearby? <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Oh, Jesus Christ, let me alone. <laughs> they do they do compliment you a lot, which is nice, good for the self esteem. You know? I don't remember them complimenting me. Oh, I get complimented what they, all the what, time. What man. did they say about you? <laughs> oh my God, your nails are awesome. Uh, oh, I love that shirt. Oh, your hair looks dope, dude. Really? And you love and you love that. Yeah, you take that dude. to heart. Fucking <laughs> fucking juice me up, boy. <laughs> well, hold on, that's interesting, love. So you really do avoid Trader Joe's. Yeah. That's a shame because it's dude. a great store. I, well, I go the there best. sometimes because it is so good. But no, I mm. really dread going to <laughs> Trader Joe's because uh, that shit's scary. I have bad social anxiety I, too. I'm right there with you, yeah. not to the point of like avoiding going there, but like I'll stand in the line and look at try to find the person that's like <laughs> yes. looks like ah! the yeah. least talkative. A hundred percent with them. Yes. But that 100%. always could fuck you over in the end. I see their interaction with others. You can kind of tell. Oh, you, you gauge it. Yeah, I watch. I watch how they're interacting with the current customer. 
<laughs> I will say though, those markets and the parking lots are so fucking busy, man. Yeah, the parking yeah. lot. Is I, the fucking cart traffic in there. I, I will say, I wanted to rip some people's heads off. Yeah. Or just like, just get the fuck out of my way. Do it. Fuck it. <laughs> Should have done it. Yeah, but you know, shout out Trader Joe's. But after promise. experiencing it in New York, this is totally fine because in New oh York, you have to stand in a line. That goes Bro. around the building mm. oh and still goes on all inside the store until the cashier. I don't, this is one of the things that we hated the most that I don't think people talk about enough is if you live in the city, the grocery shopping is abysmal. Mm -hmm. It is a fucking nightmare. Most of them are just like little bodegas or fucked up tiny right. little stores and there's not a lot of them. And the shelves would and be empty too yeah. at Trader Joe's. They're all getting mobbed because <laughs> there's not a lot and they're tiny and there's a gajillion people that live there. So when we went to Trader Joe's in Manhattan, first of all, we had to walk because we didn't have an elevator. Right. <clears throat> it was a few blocks away, but going up, upstairs in two blocks with fucking all your groceries is a pain in the ass. You got to be selective, like how much <clears throat> you buy because right. you'll have to carry it back. <laughs> but then you go in this Joe's and there's a line going out of the window out of the door and around the corner yep and Go it goes up, up an escalator jesus and out Joe. the door and around the corner so you wait in line for like 20 minutes and then you go out there and you have to like compete with shoppers <laughs> because there's yeah. cuz there's just not any good groceries the shit is just <laughs> ravaged <laughs> It, it, it's so yeah, it shocking. Up. It's so well, up. It was really shocking. It, it, there, there is a good supply with Trader Joe's LA stock, but I think it's a prerequisite if you're gonna wherever Trader Joe's is, you have to have a fucked up parking lot because every <laughs> there's no parking lot at this go. spot. It, it, there, it's like every parking lot is so small. Yeah. Yeah. Like what the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, actually, I, I'm actually boycotting Trader Joe's and have been for years <laughs> until they get their act together with the parking. I board. park in a fucking <laughs> red zone. Like I don't, Wait. I don't give a shit. <laughs> like yeah, I yeah, really don't LA, care. They all have terrible Wait, parking lots. Wait, that's an interesting observation. I don't think I've ever been to a Trader Joe's all over SoCal that doesn't have a tiny, and even in yeah. Cal that doesn't have a tiny. It's like the lot. most popular grocery store, and there's ten spots. <laughs> Do you remember the <laughs> old, the one by the that, old that's office? That's by design. Yeah, Where that one was a nightmare. The one by the old office was. Oh that was my the god. Yeah. It would, and it was a big store. It would cause too. a traffic jam all the time because all the cars <laughs> yeah. trying to get into the parking lot, they'd be backed up into the street. Right. Bro. I just park in a fucking red, dude. I do not give a fuck. <laughs> I do not admit it. I do they, not give a shit. They don't Instacart any of it, too. I don't get why they don't do delivery or anything. Because mm. they, they want to fuck with you. They, they want to they talk to you. They want to know what you're doing this weekend. They want to talk to you. get to know you. They want to compliment you, Cam. They want to know what you're doing this weekend, man. I'll tell them. I don't give a shit. The food's good enough, but. <laughs> but so if somebody goes if a Trader Joe's cashier <laughs> goes, what are you up to this weekend? Would you honestly like give them a rundown of your weekend? <laughs> I might next time no. just to see what happens because <laughs> I feel like such a dummy being like This man who I'll never see again. I'm gonna open my fucking heart Dude, right it's free like therapy. Fuck yeah, one minute. I'm not gonna you know, see you anymore. I'm going to see my parents. My mom isn't feeling good though it's gonna be, <laughs> But I'm looking forward to you know, I got two young boys they love and they're gonna have fun. It's like well, who, what are we doing? Doing mm -hmm. you could uh, just say yeah, I got some rope and a tarp and you know. oh god, that's actually pretty good <laughs> it's fun when I'm good. That's actually kind of fun oh it's a Social god. experiment <laughs> what they say. Then they'll never ask you again Yeah, you there you go you, you, you get put on the Joe's list yeah. <laughs> Traitorous Joe There needs to be like, you know how in Ubers you can do do not talk to me They need like a button oh. at the front like yes, I would guarantee you like at least 70 people would be hitting that <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's what those fucking bells should be for. You know those fucking <laughs> yeah. big ass like ringing bells they have there. Yeah, that's what it should be. Uh, don't talk to me, fucker. You know. I, I'm seeing in the chat that this is actually quite universal. Uh, people chiming in that they're Trader Joe's mm. from places, Florida, Texas. I'm seeing all over the country has the exact same issue. It's so by design. They, they must do, do they, do they by think design, they're yeah. saving on rent by like yeah, getting a smaller, smaller lot. lot? Yeah, I guess. There's one Trader Joe's that's like the promised land in Massachusetts. It's right outside Patriot Stadium. Stadium, massive fucking parking lot. Go there. It's the mecca for Trader Joe's. Yeah, really? Interesting. They do it, everything's better in Mass. What can yeah, you do? dude. Outside, especially outside the Patriot Stadium, even though they fucking suck this year. But <laughs> that's a f they got flounder that kid. They fucking yeah, they got flounder. They got tuna. They got. <laughs> There's Twitter accounts that tell you the lines at Trader Joe's in New York. Or tell you the lines. yeah, tell you the lines. <laughs> like traffic reports. Well, yeah, updates. That is interesting. Wow. Yeah, man. But like, that's the thing. You get people talk to you all so romantically about living in New York City. <laughs> 
It's a rat hole, dude. It's a it fucking a rat, rat hole. Rat hole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's there. It is nice, and it's fun in certain ways. It's a rat hole. But in many other ways, which New Yorkers don't like to talk about, <laughs> they just want to say how shitty LA is. And ooh, look at those. Who wants to live there? Go There's no Joe. seasons. Mm -hmm. Who would want to live in LA? There's no seasons. Everybody's Joe. so fake. Okay, dude, enjoy paying ten thousand dollars for a, a studio apartment and carrying your weeks of groceries up three flight of stairs. I just had to invest in a, a fucking uh, little trolley thing. Cause it was breaking my back out, like bringing this shit up, and I have an elevator, mm. but like, oh, you trolley out? Yeah, dude. dude. Oh, I just my got brother. One too. I got one too. Like the old lady? Yeah, yeah like the old oh. lady. Oh, and everyone wait, in my what? building has them. <laughs> they all talk about their trolley. Dude, mine is <laughs> mine is badass. I got mine on Black Friday. It's a whole wagon. It expands to a wagon for grocery shopping, groceries and packages. Yeah. Wait, you what? all? You there's something in the water. All three of you got. You, you want to see it? I'll you grab it. Show the yeah. Old oh, you lady have it here. Show a picture. Yeah, I want to see your trolley. My process: I go to Target, I get water, show the old lady, and then the I head over to Trader Joe's. What does that mean? What's the old lady trolley? It's just to make sure everybody knows what we're talking about. Grocery. Oh, you want? Okay, grocery. And they, they fucking, they're awesome, man. <laughs> I don't even, oh, yeah, that, one of these little things? <laughs> that is so funny. Is this what you're talking about, Jack? <laughs> yeah. mine, mine is a, a four-wheeler. Oh. I got an off-road version. Wait, why, why, why not just use a shopping cart? Or like to, a backpack. It's to even. take it back home. No, it's to take yeah. it back home, like unloading the car, because I have to take it, my apartment is on. But you just put, you don't walk that far with the bags, or I guess you have to walk. Is your parking spot far from your apartment? It's, it's pretty far, yeah. Okay, so that mm -hmm. makes sense. Well, it, you just take it up the elevator, it's really easy. When I took public transport, I use that all the time, too. For public, like, <laughs> taking on the bus and train. So everybody's got the... I could, I could fit two cases of water in there, like... Okay, oh, yeah. so yours Those is bigger are heavy. than yeah. what he's pulling. I, I got a fucking off-roader. <laughs> Let me see. Do you have like big like wheels with fat um Dude, this shit's fucking tricky. Fat dude. like uh mud. I, I took grids the fucking it. pimp my ride, man, you know. <laughs> Something like this, Zach? Um This no. one has a cool splash on the front. It, it's better. more of like a uh, It shows that it's waterproof maybe. It's a, Oh yeah. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> 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 there are lots of those. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yeah, like the one, the one love has. Oh, okay. Let's see. I'll tell you in you New York. Got it right here. Oh, big Wait, boy! Look at those th tires, bro. Did you just get that out of your car? Is that why you have it? Okay. Oh, it's an actual <laughs> wagon. Oh, no, you can go off-roading like, with that. It's that a radio means... flyer, man. We have that for the boys. How many yeah. potatoes you put in that thing, dude? <laughs> That's a fucking human-grade wagon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's full size, but it it, it gets small. It's goaded, <laughs> man. It it makes your life so much. Yeah, hold easier. that shit up. Look at that. <laughs> Throw oh, that right in the trolley. That's a good one. For that. one. And AB's got his trolley. Zach, you have your trolley? Nah, it's at home. <laughs> AB's it's got his same. trolley. Bust it out. It's the same. <laughs> oh, it's the same one. It's the same one? You wish. Okay. Oh, AB's about to fly. Wait, he's talking about AB's here. probably got lights in his or something. Yeah. Yeah. AB's about to. On it. TikTok lights. <laughs> <laughs> Ambient lighting, bro. No, that does look like the same one. <laughs> uh, oh, it's bigger. AB okay. is flexing. Oh, of course it is. It's a good That is a big boy. These are better than our wagon, Ethan. Our wagon is for human beings, little ones. <laughs> wow. Oh, really? Yeah, it's we for have the boys. one. It's you, for transporting you the kids. Bring them around in a little wagon. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. That is so sweet. <laughs> it's fun sometimes. Damn, that is a big boy. What the hell, dude? What are you? How many cases of water about? you can fit in there? Oh wow. You can fit a lot of water in there. It looked like four cases. Of <laughs> 450 <laughs> pounds. Whoa. No shot. <laughs> It's rated for 450 pounds? Oh my god. Yeah. Let me sit in that. <laughs> okay, that thing's, around. that thing's my baby, so... But I, well, I'm you break you he's, pay for he's it. He's far from, a, he's yeah, far he's from far 450 from pounds, my friend. We got talking big game. I'm not even half hmm. Forget about potatoes, let's rate wagons. Literally. <laughs> All right, Ethan's inspecting it. Taking off the Crocs. All right, I'm getting. I'm entering the wagon. Wow. Seems dirty. Certainly doesn't. Seem it looks unfazed. And then, and let's get someone else's. <laughs> Ela. Yeah, Ela, you want to get in with me? We be like not even close to one. Ela, how much do you weigh right now? 
the 140 plus 180, I mean, we're way under four. Excited, I mean, really uh, putting this thing to the test. You said 450 or 400? 450. Okay, so we're, we're good, man. Wow. Wow. Look at that, no problem. So the brand, my goodness. Uh, They've really made quite a product here. The Analog Gatsby. <laughs> oh, goodbye. How much was it? Uh, this is how 50% off Black Friday. It was... Let me check. He said he doesn't want to get up. Across the distance between us. You have Get a little inspection under the hood there. Zach, I love that. That was so good. I love when you do that. You just you found the perfect song, <laughs> and I want to just tell you that Thank I you. really loved it. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> Here's a Twitter uh, account called J Trader Joe's Line Alert. <laughs> this is specifically. Oh, that's good. This one's in Brooklyn. <laughs> the Brooklyn. I'll Trader let you know Trader. how long the line is. Not a bot, Joe. just a quarantined human. <laughs> okay. Joe. Well, have they been keeping it up? Are they still up to this? His Aww. last. No, nah, his last tweet. I guess he when quarantine ended. Yeah. But la his last tweet was uh, February 2nd, 2021. He said, no line. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you needed to go to Trader Joe's two years ago, this is the account for you. 20, 25, 20 people lined no up line. before opening. What up. there needs to be is an account Sundays at Trader Joe's in the Valley. Because <laughs> Sundays at Trader Joe's, yeah. fucking, that's if you want to get pissed off, man. <laughs> yeah. There it is. I hope someone from Trader Joe's corporate is watching because they might be they're losing business with this whole greeting right. nonsense. Just leave the people alone, man. You know, it's like you already got the Hawaiian shirt and the puka shells. You're already festive <laughs> enough. We don't need to talk. <laughs> also, they got a uh, do you know about the um, they hide different stuffed animals at each location? Huh? Mm, do you know, know. about no. that? No. So uh, one they like hide a stuffed monkey, and if uh, you find it, you get a, a sticker and uh, some other prize. Why? Um, so I don't, I don't get the prize, but I will look for the uh, stuffed animal. I never heard of that. Yeah. yeah. They got like a pig at one. It's a good time. So I got that on Black Friday for eighty bucks. What? It's one ten right now. That's such a good deal. We yeah. paid more for ours. Four fifty. What could you put in there? You could put all kinds of stuff in there. You could put. Go to Joe. <laughs> well, you, you could put concrete in it. <laughs> Let's fill it with concrete. I realize now. I ordered two of them, two different brands to try them out. That one's actually three fifty. Oh wow. Mm. The other one's four fifty. The one mm. I returned because it was like. Oh, that one's three fifty. Yeah. So we got kind of close to that probably. <laughs> But it seemed fine. Yeah, I Lena I sent a or I sent a picture in chat. This was dude. We were right there. We were at like three forty, I think. <laughs> we almost broke that thing. Oh fuck! Well, it, it held up. Yeah, you should be proud of that thing, man. Goodbye. <laughs> There's a picture in the Discord. This is me grabbing my packages on Black Friday with it. Where'd you put it? It's in the Discord. Oh, I just. Oh, here it is. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Here's A B with this Black Friday cleanup. What'd you get? I got most random shit. We just moved, so we fuck? needed a lot of stuff. Oh, oh, right. oh yeah. yeah. How's the new apartment? We love it. Awesome. Nice. It's awesome having two rooms. It feels so spacious. Good. Yeah. I'm happy for you guys. That's Thank great. You. That's great. <laughs> there he is. It's a lot of packages, buddy. Mm. Nice calves. <laughs> <laughs> Good definition. It's the uh, it's the socks. It gives the illusion. Well, whatever it is, I like it, man. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Uh, well, I have a whole bunch of shit still to do. All right. So I Eli, will probably head back home now for the gotta be with the boys. Yeah, I'll try to get home at a normal. I really want to end, but well, we started late. Yeah. So three hours would be at what time? When did we start? Did we start at two? 
started at t- about two. Yeah, pretty a, much. A little Time later. Passed. Yeah. So fuck. Maybe I won't do three hours today. It's Wait. just the daylight this gets so dark. It's so depressing, yeah, dude. It really is. When I when, when we leave at like five six, well, we usually leave around six, it's right? Totally lately. dark. It's like the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Dark. Dark. No. All right, Dila. Nice to see you. Thank you to everybody that spoke. Yeah. Everything was great. Yeah. Ciao. Bye bye. Ciao. Bye bye. Oh, the reason Ciao. that we were Ciao. the reason that we were started later today is because we were doing our Christmas portraits. Or, yeah, Christmas portraits. We did, they came out really good. Really, really good. I think we're all very excited yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. See how I'm feeling tomorrow. You'll see how you're feeling tomorrow. I'm feeling it. <laughs> you're feeling it? I'm feeling it. <laughs> uh, oh, you, do you guys have, like, sensitive backs? or Kind of, yeah. Uh-huh. I, um, years ago... Uh, I would think around when I was like 20, uh, got into two pretty severe rear-ending car accidents. Uh I got rear-ended at red light twice within a year. Dude. Yeah. Uh, Completely separate incidents. And after the second one especially, (laughs) it really fucked up my back. And I did physical therapy for a couple years and it was a whole thing. Um, And that actually mostly fixed it, but... Till today, Every, we reversed it all today. When, when, you, when wow. we do things like we did today, I definitely I didn't know that a little bit, but you but did great so far. So good. I mean, that's why I'm saying I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Two rear ends that's really yeah, it was lucky. wild. <laughs> I have a, a one of my really good friends was rear ended at a stop sign or stoplight or whatever, and he his back's been fucked up. It's really, yeah, funny. it's shitty, just so unlucky and bad and dumb. Who, what was wrong with these people? <laughs> uh, idiots, I don't know. Uh, the first time I saw it coming, um, and that one was actually maybe more severe because it was a big, like, um, like one of those white work van kind oh, of things. Oh, God. Yeah, so it was like a really big car, and it, I looked in my rearview mirror and saw that he was still going really fast. So I just stopped at a light. I'm like, uh, this guy doesn't look like he's slowing down. <laughs> yeah, and then that happened. <laughs> that... Uh, and slammed me into the car in front of me, and that car hit another, and that car hit another. It was like a huge, like, domino. They, like pushed all the cars together. So that sounds like it was a pretty strong impact. Yeah, but then the second one, that one was like pretty much fine, but then the second one uh, was the one that really messed me up. And that one I didn't even see coming. I was like, just stopped at a light and I was looking down, changing the radio or something, and just out of nowhere I got slammed into. Was this in the station wagon? The photo you uh, you showed me? Uh, Yeah, uh, one was in the station wagon, the Volvo. Shout out Sweden. Hell yeah, that probably saved you. And the other was in a, uh, <laughs> what car did I have? I had some little piece of shit. Most of my cars are little <laughs> pieces of shit, but um, it was like a Mercury or something. I only had that car for a couple months before that happened. Bro, I had, or no, I had a, not a Mercury, I had a Saturn. Is that the one? Saturn. The the Saturn is really similar to a Mercury. Hideous car. I think. <laughs> I think they might have even been the same company. But so what happened when you get rear ended? Did you get out of the car and like say what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, exchange. It, they were apologetic, obviously, and say, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Actually, I remember the second guy, like, weirdly, I forget exactly what he said. He said something weird. Why'd you stop there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, something like that. And I immediately was like, bro, shut the fuck up. I was stopped. Like, you, like I'm stopped at a red light. Why'd what do you, you want me to do? Stop there. Yeah, and, and he, he backed down, like, immediately. But I don't know. That happened to me when that I was in high school. Off. Huh? Like at a red light, that happened to me too. Oh, you got rear ended mm-hmm. at a red light too? Jeez. By a kid from my school. What are y'all doing? What yeah. was his deal? Uh, he was just uh, in carpool and distracted, and he <laughs> paid out of pocket because he he already had strikes on his license. Oh, oh God. Yeah. We got to get rid of that dude's license. We literally, I got out of the car and I was like crying because I had never been in an accident before, and he clearly had been through it before because he was just like, hey. Oh my god. Um, I was like shaking as I was like giving him my license. I was so devastated, but um I was totally fine. I just was like, damn it, I got in an accident. And um Dan, was there any lawsuits involved in that? I know the insurance company. Insurance just ended up taking care of it. They just do whatever. Yeah. They they play this game where they just sue each other nonstop. I think 
that did happen for a while, but I don't know. I, I got paid out and I got a different car pretty quickly after that. Did you get some kind of compensation for the physical therapy? Yeah, that too. That's good. Yeah. They always say go to a fucking chiropractor. They may have recommended that. They at the always time. say, and that. I wouldn't have even been aware. I, I I don't think I had developed my disdain for chiropractors I at mean, that point. Elo went so to a, a chiropractor recently. <laughs> it's a new. I think people are just starting to become aware. <laughs> right. People take chiropractic seriously for a long time. Yep. <laughs> Still do. <laughs> Dan, I'm sorry your back hurts. No, I'm saying it's not actually that bad right now. Oh, I know, good, I know good. I'm doing this, but I don't know. It's yeah, just because so, we're talking about it. Well, you guys don't know what we're about. referring to. We did a photo shoot, and it was very physically intensive. <laughs> yeah. We did some cheerleader shit. Basically. I don't want to uh, spoil it, but it was very physically intensive. Dan was on the ceiling. It was, you know, it was a whole thing. The trapeze. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see. So we got all kinds of fun stuff to do here. Um. Oh shit, Zach. Okay, from now you got to do the vocal sound bites. Okay. We wanted oh, to do like that. Two hours into the episode. This is what happened last time. We got to do it at the beginning. Okay. So then we'll do it on Friday? Not gonna He's be not here, here Friday. on Friday. I guess we'll do it on Monday. I don't think we're going to we do it. We can't let whole... him weasel out of it, but we got to put it at the top of the dock. I don't think we're going to do a right whole episode, bat. though. I'll do it. How about Monday? I, Monday, I will start the show singing or some shit. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. Boom. Monday. Lock it in. Pen it in. It's a date. Excited. It's a date. Uh, okay. Um, lots of hubbub on the subreddit. Hubbub. Be because we did the See You Next Tuesday yesterday, which was very fun, by the way. Thanks, everyone who watched. We did a computer repair stream <laughs> for members. Uh, it was very fun. We did it, it ended here. Ended up in the being very straightforward and pretty quick. And spoiler alert, Dan fixed it. So yeah, thank yeah, you to yeah. Dan. Yeah. Uh, did you plug it in and turn it on when you got home? No, I haven't plugged it in yet. Oh, God. Watch. It's gonna I will. Fun. I will tonight. People are saying rip leftovers. And, uh, so here, here's the clip that's got everybody uh, buzzing. Here it is. People are saying rip leftovers. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, probably. Just to be honest. We could just call it. Leftovers. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> Le I, wouldn't that be fucked up if I was like, leftovers is coming back. That is fucked right. up. <laughs> Don't do it. We were, we, we, we were talking back. about the idea of making a cooking show. Right. So that was the joke there that was. Uh, Which did you get? Not, did you hear any uh, feedback on the oven situation? Uh, oven would have been real nice today. Just saying. I mean, I, got, I think the reaction was somewhat mixed. I saw some people saying they think it would be boring. Really? I saw some. But even if we don't make a show dedicated to it. I think it would be good. But yeah, I could like that idea. For segments and all that I kind got, of I got stuff. the name, man. I got the name. You know I'm a name guy. You are? Okay, yeah. Cooking with the Kleins. <laughs> Two Ks. Very good. <laughs> three Ks. Cooking. <gasps> no, it would be two. No, three... Three Ks with a with a cross burning in the back. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna force in that joke there. We got karaoke with the clients. Cooking. Cooking with the with clients. With the clients. Cool times. KKK, baby. Cooking crafts with the clients. <laughs> Cooking crafts with yeah. the clients. There you go. Uh, yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Here. Yeah. We've never done that before. Right. <laughs> We've never played it. So, I guess people... I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Probably, probably, I just, probably, yeah. It is probably over. Just to, I guess, you know, put it out there. People want to know. And again, I said this on the members, but I want to emphasize that it, me and Hassan are still friends, and this has nothing to do with Hassan, anything he's done, okay? It's just that, I'm deciding for myself to uh, not not <laughs> do that show anymore. I mean, you know what I mean? I know there's a lot of people upset that like the show, and I'm glad, frankly. I'm happy. I'm 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 sorry that it's that it's probably ending, but I do. I'm grateful to everyone that watched and enjoyed it. It was it's nice to see that people care care about it, and are you know. But at the end of the day. 
I feel that, you know, I need to be, I need to look after myself at a certain point and spend the time, my time doing something that, uh, not spend my time doing something that is going to, you know, be a net negative for me. You know, it's just, it's, it's my life, <laughs> you know. To a certain point, it's not, it wasn't, it stopped becoming a show to an extent, or at least just, you know, the very end of it. And, you know, it's my life. So I have to protect the sanctity of that. And uh, that's, that's why I'm probably going to not do it anymore. Any questions? I hear typing. <laughs> I'll We're feel still talking shit back here. Oh, <laughs> thanks. That makes me feel good. <laughs> okay. um, I'm fielding questions, uh, if anyone has. AB, speaking of which, man, we found the culprit. <laughs> I got, I don't, what is this meant to be? Is he taking off with all the radiators? What is happening here, Cam? I don't know. We're talking about car accidents. It's funny. I could go through anything with that bad boy. That's I'm dry today. I'm sorry. Some days it's. No, it's good. Cameron, it's good. It's good, Cam. Oh, you're great. You guys are great, but... No, it's there was, good, there was bro. No, there was no one to one A to B line of logic. It was just mm. car accidents and that... That's yeah, funny. That it's yeah, still that's funny. funny. Yeah, Thank I like He's off-road. Maybe he caused it. What did he do uh, that's there? That's what I'm thinking, is that he caused that. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. It's a good time. Thank People are saying guys. rip leftovers. Oops. Um... Uh, so, uh... Yeah, it sucks that we're gonna miss the 2024 election. Maybe we'll come back for it. I don't know. I don't want. I don't want to sp um, set any expectations anywhere. You know what I mean? I want to keep it just uh, open for myself. Uh, but I have a question. Go ahead. Is collabing with Hassan in the future off the table? Because I really want to hang out with Kaya again sometime. <laughs> no, of course it's not off the table. And that's a good question. Thank you. No, it's not off the table at all. You know what I mean? It's still the same as it was. It's just... Uh, gotcha, the show's... The show's is on... I have a question. How do they say it in Hollywood? They say it's on a indefinite hiatus. Yeah, that's <laughs> correct. <laughs> what, what, A.B.? Do we... Do we have to take down his portrait in the hallway? Do you want to? No, I'm no. kidding. I love this song. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you can leave it up, but if it's... <laughs> I'm totally if, kidding. if you want to remove it, A.B., if it makes you uncomfortable or something, let's get rid of it. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. <laughs> let's, so let's see. Here, uh, Johnny says, I totally respect that you need to protect yourself, but know that there are those of us who love you and Asana will miss leftovers greatly. That's nice. I mean, that is nice uh, to hear. I didn't even realize that there was such a little um, kind of following. Because, I mean, it's the least popular show on the channel. Not by a lot. I mean, the views were really good for a political show, I think. Uh, compared to other stuff, I think it was yeah. Yeah. really, you really... You got like 500k yeah. to 700k. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely the top, or, even the more tops. than that, I think, at the end. It was getting like, I think, 700 about. Which is great. I mean, it's great. But I, I didn't realize so many people cared so much about it. Uh, to be honest, that surprised me. Um, but I'm grateful, you know. When we first decided to do a political show, I was really <laughs> not into the idea. But honestly, I'm, I'm really going to miss it. I me really too. Really love that show. <sighs> but I completely understand. Yeah. God, it sucks. Let's do some chestnuts <laughs> for her. <laughs> Someone says do an election season special of leftovers. I mean, that's I like that idea. I'm not committing to it, just to be clear, because I want expectations right. You could go ahead with it, Zach. Keep it keep it running. But um but that does, I do like that idea. It does sound fun, you know. Carly says, proud of you for making a difficult choice for your mental health. Thank you, Carly. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. When we were doing the photo shoot earlier, uh, they were playing Christmas music and they were playing the real version of this and that that song is just ruined for me now that's so even if it's not a nook dude the original version sucks <laughs>
I'm fucking living for a nook. I did it all for the Anuki. Love him. Wow. What a talent. Some people are asking, is a new Thursday show? I'm I'm currently unsure. It's something that I'll be, you know, floating around in my head until something coalesces, probably. Um, but for now, I don't have any immediate plans. But I am, I'm, you know, my head is always uh, kind of thinking. So we'll see. You and Jay Shetty. Me and Jay. Oh, Enlightened Monks. What would be a good name for me and Jay Shetty podcast? Frenemies. Friendovers. <laughs> Um, friend over. frenemies would be kind of dope. <laughs> friend overs. <laughs> Can you keep the really note going? Frenemy. It's Steph? a very one sided frenemies relationship between the two of you. Cheers. The beautiful and the brown. <laughs> That's and it has kind of like a negative implication. The eyes, the eyes. I know oh, you were talking about oh, the okay. eyes, but you could, Cam, you could do a really cool <laughs> oh one God. of like his beautiful <laughs> eyes and then my brown eyes underneath. <laughs> The beautiful and the brown. Mm, right. Not brown like, eyes. Yeah, brown, yeah. brown eyes. I think we the beautiful and the brown yeah, eyes. <laughs> threw me off for a second. All right. <laughs> oh, I, I got what you meant. But. No, yeah. So maybe he one that's less uh, <laughs> ambiguous. <laughs> but the yeah. Yeah, um, let's see. Um, you and Jay Shetty. I mean, what's... Like, there's... Frenemies is like a, you know, a term for kind of like an ambiguous relationship. Like, situationship when it's like a... Uh, people sort of pseudo-dating or whatever. What What's like the word for that when it's like one guy hates the other and the other one doesn't really even think about him? I think that's just called an obsession. <laughs> Stalking. Obsessed with Jay Shetty. You could call it like the odd couple or something like that. The odd couple? Alright. I'll, I'll, I'll message him right now. He looked, I know he looked at the last one I sent. He didn't respond, but he looked at it. You're really going to ask him? No. He wants to co-host a podcast? No, no. <laughs> oh, someone said the Jay Shetty show featuring Ethan Klein. Oh, that'd be perfect. Yeah. The Shed show. Somebody suggested the Shed show. How about the Shed Shed? The Shed Shed. Oh. Shed Shed. That's where the quartering <laughs> shed shed. has all of his sexual tributes to Jay Shetty. The Shed Shed. <laughs> Anime show? What if me and me and uh, beautiful blue eyes did a podcast where we talked about anime? I'm, you know, cooking with the clients, karaoke with the clients, ketamine with the clients could be good. Oh, that'd be a lot for every week, but I don't hate it. Just enter the K hole with us. <laughs> in the in the K hole. Now, Ethan Klein. There was some conspiratorial takes that this was all applauded on by Dan, and I think it was Ian, who have been passionate about launching the Scooby-Doo, Mountain Dew-themed podcast. Is there any validity to that? I didn't want to bring it up, but, I mean, we have about 400 episodes planned. <laughs> 400, into. Huh? I've really got legs, that concept. Do the do. They've There's a lot to cover. They've been talking about this show since I started working here. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe that's a good. Maybe that would be nice. You know, I'm sure they <laughs> just. I'm sure people will be tuning in. For uh, I don't know why you, you're such a hater, dude. You're such a hater of the do the do. <laughs> you guys want to do a pilot? <laughs> you guys want to do a pilot? <laughs> I'll, I'm I'm willing to give it a shot. Really? I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to sign really, you up. you've for... shot this idea down countless times in well, the past. Listen. Like on a weekly basis, we pitch this. To listen, you. in my opinion, it's not a good idea for a show. That being said, I might be, I'm willing to say I might be wrong, and that I appreciate your guys' passion in bringing this idea forward, and I want to um, enable you guys. <laughs> uh-huh. And right. so I'm happy to do a, uh, a pilot episode. And feel it out from there. And if people like it, then yeah, we can do the 300 episode order. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna need at least a 12 episode order for it to make sense <laughs> up six. front. Ten. The original Seinfeld season had six. There's just too much to cover in six. I need ten. All right, ten. I got. Can I? Can I uh, pitch you a, a podcast idea? Is it wine with the Klein? No, no, no. <laughs> Karaoke uh, with the clients. No, 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 no. All right, all right, no, no, no. It's called gossip. 
All right, like and we the, just rate go, Gosling uh, movies. Oh, that's, Gosling. that's a oh, twist, that's a fun mm. twist. Yeah, interesting. Every week we just do a different pilot. <laughs> every Thursday. Mm. That won't get exhausting. Making a new show every week. <laughs> <laughs> Trying out one of our ideas. Could be week. funny though. I mean, I yeah. do like the idea as making maybe like a mini series. I, I like that. I too. don't think it's like a permanent idea, but I think it's a fun idea, AB. I mean, the Goss show, I, I think that has some legs. I mean, how, how many movies does he have? Let's see. Not that I, I'm not trying to disparage the Goss here. God, God, no. Goss, no. How many but... movies does Ryan? I think the roster might be stacked on Gosling. At least they say it's not an exact number, but they <laughs> we, say we don't know. They say at least seventy-one. So seventy-one. Yeah, he's a busy. Wow. Over a year of oh, we, that's movies. so much juice. That's a prolific. A actor. weekly Ryan Gosling film review uh, series. I mean, he's if you go all the way back to the Notebook, that was two thousand and four. That was that was two twenty years ago. And that's at least Almost. at least. A three-part series too for the notebook. Yeah, the notebook needs Ooh. more than a single podcast. There's way too much you can to stretch cover. these out. So at the very least, we have seventy episodes, which is over a year minimum. I can minimum. give you a hundred-page dissertation on Drive. Okay, that sounds interesting. Right, that would probably be like I want to say like a year-long project. The is, Drive is this mini, uh, embarrassing to admit? I don't know if it is or isn't. I've never seen the Notebook. I don't know if that's like no, a, that's fine. Yeah. You're not missing. I don't sure know if it's like uh, yeah, essential fine. watching or anything. Okay. Just watch the no, podcast. It's pretty great. It's not I mean, essential. it's good. It's a it's a good. <laughs> when people movie. say, I, people say this, it's a chick flick. Uh, I mean, on a it's, a, as far it's a as romantic it being like a ro movie. romance. Sure, because I because but... I like romance movies. Yeah, yeah, if you like romance movies, it's a pretty good one. I like ro uh, rom coms. Do you like to be moved to tears? I will. I allow myself to be moved. You I, should indulge in the notebook one day when you're feeling vulnerable and like you're ready to cry. Because oh it every time I forget how sad it is. <laughs> every time. Is there no happy ending to it? It's just pure sadness. It's, no, it's 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 beautiful. <coughs> I'm not it's telling like, you anything. It's like life, Ethan. Where are my shoes? You. I, I didn't want to say it, but you left your shoes over here. Okay. All right. There they are. <laughs> Um, oh, God. Ryan Gosling is 43, by the way. What an old fucking idiot loser. He looks loser. the same what? as he did in the notebook, dude. It's weird. I thought he was like 30s, to be honest. 38, maybe. I guess 38. But no, he's old as shit. Cringe. Old shit, dude. Cringe. All right, let's see what else we got in the document here. <laughs> um, Phidias gets beat up by a monk. Oh, well, hold on. There was one more thing I wanted to say about the see you next, or the leftovers thing. Uh, Keemstar got in on it. Keemstar? He had some expert commentary on it. He just wants that position. Does he hate, does he hate Hassan more than me? What's going on here? Or maybe, maybe Hassan hating is more, right now it's kind of a hot thing. Yeah, it's, like it's more in for, vogue. Yeah. I don't think if he if he tweets about me, people will be like, "Dude, get over it, bro." He said it all. Right, right. So this is his new yeah. So here he says, "Some Piker over the last three days was kicked off his podcast." Is he talking about ours? Yeah, that's not what happened. That's not what happened, bro. Doesn't you matter. gotta leave. It's Keemstar, bro. You gotta leave. I'm replacing you. <laughs> Got exposed for spreading fake news and getting mainstream news stories completely wrong. Hmm, Keemstar. Hmm. Saying that, he's surely, mm, yeah. surely there must be something to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lost a debate he begged for against drama YouTuber. Okay, I don't even know what that's in. Reference. Me neither. Defended Pokey. Oh, that's the worst crime. Oh, that there you go. That's the slam dunk at the end. The I think he slam. wrote this about me, and then he's like, uh, let's change this song. <laughs> I don't think people are into the Ethan hate right now. Um, okay, well, there you go, Keemstar. You got your tweet out of it. Uh, congratulations. The moment Hassan saw Keem chatting during his stream was one of the funniest things I've seen live. Wait, what? I gotta see that. Hassan was chatting in his live? That's nuts. <laughs> I gotta know. I need the lore on that one. <laughs> was kicked off his podcast. What do you think? that you, I'm gonna hire you or something, Keem? You've been replaced with Keemstar. Keemstar is too. Oh, 
Keemstar's too busy. <clears throat> Somebody said, this is exact tweet Keem wrote about Ethan after Frenemies broke up. That's my point. He could have subbed me in easily for that. <laughs> yeah. So there it is. Shout out to the Kimi Dreamy. The, cre- the Creamy Kimi Dreamy Award. That goes to him. And his uh, wonderful uh, daughter, who we love. She's a really terrific lady. Really mature for her age. I know that bitch. I believe that's his... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Girlfriend. Oh, so, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You know, yeah, I think that's... Are you referring to the, the girl who's... Has the braces with him? No, that's pose? his daughter. No, no, that's his girlfriend. No, he's actually dating that woman. Huh? Yeah, yeah. gross. Also, she got Wasn't her braces he had... off, AB. Wait, 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 wait. Right. Wasn't he at her graduation? Just beautiful. I, I, I don't know what you're referring to. I thought I, I remember Maybe a picture. We were talking about different things. I remember a picture of him at her graduation. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's his daughter. Maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah. Perhaps that didn't ever Perhaps. happen. <laughs> I don't think that photo. I can't is. tell Perhaps. what Perhaps. level of trolling you're doing right now. I can't. She's she's not his daughter, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck! The Hannah we know. Isn't she like twenty? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> to each their own. In the words of OJ: uh, "There's lots of young girls with daddy and granddaddy issues out right. there." Right. You got that? Well, you, you you'd be surprised how many girls got. Father issues and granddaddy issues. You wouldn't be surprised. Said, How many of them girls got granddaddy <laughs> issues? Uh, uh, this one's from New Hampshire. It was one that I liked, so I got to, you know, say I did like her, and it wasn't a fleeting thing. I mean, it lasted at least this three days. This is unhinged. And, uh... <laughs> this is OJ <laughs> Simpson. Still, yeah. We're in South still Beach. Got, I mean, that's uh, South Beach. We're on the beach. There's a street called Los Olas Boulevard. To me, the best street in America. Clubs, and bars, and... Oh, you're like 70. You some fresh new girls. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus. I sure don't. I don't know, man. I'm just, mar- I just, I'm just at home with my wife. I don't know what you mean. My uh, my wife, who by the way is very much alive, not been stabbed. I mean, horrible thing to say, but no, she has not been stabbed. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, like you know, in contrast to OJ, in contrast to OJ, whose ex-wife has been stabbed. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, thank you. Phidias gets beat up by a monk. Let's check this out real fast. Check in with our boy, our favorite. Cyprin? Is that the right term? He's from Cyprus. Is he a Cyprin? I don't know what the uh, denonym Cyperion? of uh, Cyprus Cyprus denonym. It's interesting. Yeah. Well, they were naming Pokemon. Uh, Cypri- Cypriot. Oh, he that's sure cool. Cypriot. He sure is. So, Yo, is this that's re- a cool one. Is this recent Am I or is this that right? vintage? Hold on. Here. Yeah, I think you're saying it right. C- Cypriot. Cypriot. Oh, Cypriot. that's sick. My favorite Cypriot. It's me. It's Phidias. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this I know, is from man. five months ago. <laughs> so here he is with, what's the video called? I trained with Shaolin Warriors for seven days. Sweet. Let's see how he does. 42 and he started practicing at five years old. So I've been here in this temple and he's uh, our master. Here is a, here is a clip of me stealing the toilet paper. <laughs> Here is me stealing the candlesticks that looked very nice. And he's training us for one week now. And he's, honestly, I, <laughs> it's one of my favorite people in the world. There it is. Not much to see, honestly, but kind of funny. Looks like he, to be honest, it's, it looks like he set him down gently. Honestly, like you could say I, he, yeah. he didn't want to hurt him. my favorite people in the world. He took it easy on him. Definitely check his bag, though, before he leaves. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Tana, a friend of the show. We've been talking about Matt Reif. He was on her podcast and she got this really lovely uh, opportunity to talk to him. Here it is. Check it out. That's the thing. I don't really hate anybody. I don't. Here's here's a very (coughs) humbling experience that I've. uh, Sorry, I guess epiphany that I've had recently. Because so many fucking people hate me. 
for really no reason. Mm. And it really made me realize that like people only hate somebody they're jealous of. And I've been Bro, I this I don't you guys probably know this. I talk about this all the time. This is the dumbest. I hate this take so much. People don't hate you because they're jealous of you. That's like the most narcissistic freak thing. Like, how do you actually believe that? <laughs> like, sure, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, that not happen. every time, not everyone that hates you is jealous of you. You know, I'm not jealous of OJ Simpson. Not, not, I was going to say it. Jealous of AB, but it wasn't funny. Because I do love AB. <laughs> well, you're oh, killing Tana's <laughs> punchline right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just because of the rating thing you did to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I love I'm jealous you. of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just he's jealous. I love you. <laughs> so anyway, here he continues. You know what I mean? It's been, I've been... But it's so juvenile. He goes, and again, he goes, I had this humbling... Uh, Epiphany that actually all these people that hate me, they wish they were me. They want to be <laughs> me. Oh, that's so humbling, bro. Yeah. I'm glad yeah, he you, actually framed it as humbling. He, I'm, gl I'm glad that you humbled yourself by yeah. imagining that everybody wants to be you. What a weirdo. Super down to earth guy. I think he's just really juvenile. Like you, when you see his clips on TikTok, he comes off like sharp, very sharp. But in per I think he's quite young. What's his age? He's like 22 or something. It's hard to tell because of, well... 28. Oh, you know. so never mind. He's not that juvenile. So never mind. Uh, I mean, it's, 20 is young. It's young, yeah. But it's not 22 young. Right. I mean, 28, you're pretty much like grown up by then, I feel like. 22, you still have a few years. You should know some people hate him to hate him. And that's fine. You just got to live with that. You know, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. That's fine. I'm 28. They all, they all wish they were me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm guilty of hating people. And when I really sat back and thought about it, it was because I was jealous of where that person was in their life. I felt like maybe they got an opportunity that I should have gotten. That was it, th this, is all, this is one of these cases that we see the world not as it is, but as we are. Matt right. diagnosing everybody with his, you know, jealousy. Yes. He, he gets mad at other comics. And he's jealous of their success because he thinks he's superior to them and he should be there. And he's thinking that everybody has the exact same uh, impression of the world as him. In fact, it's really just a, really a self-report, I mean. You know what I mean? Also, his foot is up. That's, that is an interesting observation. Why is his foot up? He's making himself a little too comfortable. No, I'm kidding. This isn't even beast <laughs> level, bro. What he's doing is fine. I wouldn't do it. She's doing the same too. Yeah, but it's her studio. Right. I wouldn't put my foot there for the record, but I'm not going to call him out for it. Just to be, <laughs> just to be totally frank with everybody listening right now. He sat back and thought about it. It was because I was jealous of where that person was in their life. I felt like maybe they got an opportunity that I should have gotten. That was yeah. a really, really good, well-rounded answer. I'm trying to wrap my Thank head you. around. Do you think people who hate Osama bin Laden are jealous of him? <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I'm I mean, right. I'm, a perfect response. I can't even <laughs> handle it. There are people that are jealous of some of them, apparently, <laughs> by the TikTok trends. Right. I saw one of the top comments oh on this clip God. said her line was funnier than his whole stand-up special. That's yeah, true. it was very good. I was actually really curious about how he responded to that. Can we find the timestamp? Yeah, I'm really curious to know where the combo went from there. But uh, we love Tana. Um, she is a friend of the show. And we honor her on this day, and we say thank you for the laughs. Well done. So was this, um, a, would, had that podcast just dropped, or did people uncover this because of his recent controversy? No. Yeah, she, he was on five months ago. Five so, months ago. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh, so this is before people really hated him, I feel like. This is kind of inappropriate, but. Yeah, that's a good point. People didn't really hate him until like a few weeks ago. And like he's like that, talking about like. It's intensified greatly. Right. Yeah. I guess maybe maybe people did have a problem. This, this, this is a little, uh, I mean, Netflix is a joke. The festival, I would not go to that festival. <laughs> I would not recommend anyone attend <laughs> that festival. Even if Matt Reif is headlining. It's just not safe, probably. What the fuck is this image? <laughs> <laughs> That's Matt Osama bin Reif. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... 
Uh, but, but, but actually, speaking of Osama, that's a good segue into this next. I've been really wanting to talk about this. And uh, <laughs> it's not exactly timely now, but I did want to Wait, talk. Wait, yeah, that's it. I think I actually took that section out because we just, it had been a few weeks and we never got to it. Yeah, but I, I find it so fascinating that I do want to talk about so it. So it was you, Dan. Yeah, oh. I said that the other day. <laughs> oh, I didn't remember yet. Ethan asked me about I was I'm looking like, through and it? I was I seeing all these stories in our doc that had been in there for weeks and we never got to it. And I was like, let's just start cleaning some oh, of this fair. out. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Um, <clears throat> some young American TikTokers are now realizing they're like, Oh, we should, when we play the TikToks, we got to put up the We Disavow thing, uh, Ian. Oh, we'll get God, I think. Yeah, but they, they're they going, oh, maybe Osama Bin Laden is dope. <laughs> because uh, Osama Bin Laden, like a year after the attack, wrote a letter called, like, a letter to America or something, in which he outlines why he did the terrorist attacks. Um, and that was thoughtful of him to, you know, explain his reasoning. At least we know why, you know. We like good communication. We appreciate it. That being said, I read the whole letter, which I hadn't read before out of uh, curiosity. <laughs> and the characterization of these people is absolutely fucking unhinged. I mean, holy smokes. It's called Letter to America. I mean, look at this. And I am ashamed. Here. This morning, I. You put up the disavow? There it is. Thank you. We disavow everything this moron loser says. What an idiot. How are you going to film yourself simping for Osama bin Laden? Just never, ever do it. it <laughs> and I know some of you are going to jump to conclusions here. I don't want to spoil the letter, but like, so I read the whole thing. So about, I would say about 10% of it is criticism of America's support for Israel. The other 90, the other 70%, I'll say, is him saying that he did the attack because America is in Sharia law and that we're not all Muslims and that uh, gay people are too comfortable in our society. Like crazy shit. They really didn't read that part. They just read the first part. I never they, did. They the skimmed first, it. They yeah, they read it. the first I, part. You got, you, all you really need is the gist. Dude, sometimes the cliff notes is not enough. Right. I yeah. never did. It, it made me uncomfortable even reading it, and we always back everything up in the doc, and I asked Zach to back it up for me, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to fucking back that up with a Muslim name. I'm good. <laughs> really? You do that shit. Yeah, no, no. Better safe, you know. Right. Make the on Jew a watch do it. List. <laughs> Zach, all right. No, but it, it, it's truly like, and my epiphany actually about this is kind of funny. I remember George Bush used to say they hate us for our freedom. And that's almost, that's been memed at this point. Where, cause it's like so stupid. It sounds so dumb. And I remember listening to that and thinking like, that's, that, what does that even mean? Like, that's just moronic. Reading the letter, it's actually true. He hates us for our freedom. <laughs> He's well, jealous of us. He's he's so <laughs> jealous. <laughs> he literally says he hates America because of the relig uh, free uh, religious freedom, uh, uh, self determination. He hates us for you know being able to express our 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 uh, attraction to people that un that's not just cis. He, he it's straight up. He hates the freedoms that are in liberal societies. It kind of blew my mind. I was like, oh shit, George Bush was, was spitting a fax. <laughs> well. <laughs> Just, on, I mean, and then, well, the weapons of mass destruction and the murdering like a million people, that was not dope. <clears throat> for the record, not dope. Bad form. And actually, for the record, I'm totally kidding. I, I, George Bush is a monster, and so is Dick Cheney, so chill out. I'm just, I just did shtick, okay? Everybody back up calmly and safely. Now you're living. <laughs> Thank you. All right, go ahead, dummy. Tell me how you love Osama bin Laden. Red letter to America, which is Osama bin Laden's letter to America explaining why he attacked Americans. And I am ashamed to say that I not only have never read this letter, but I didn't even know this letter existed. It's wild, and everyone should read it. If you haven't read it yet, read it. However, be forewarned, 
that this has left me very disillusioned and I feel the same exact way I felt when I was deconstructing Christianity. I feel I'm not gonna read uh, a little bit <laughs> just call, confused, Howie. like I have entered into another timeline. What is this? So, I mean, her, she, again, who are you? Like, do you hate gay people? Because that was like one of the main thrusts. Do you hate religious freedom? What the fuck are you doing? Do you want to live in Sharia law? Like there was, it was like 10% about Israel. I'm just, I'm mind gobbed by this. <laughs> like, yeah, he, he, yeah, he, his criticism of Israel and America was valid. Did you read the rest of it, dummy? That wasn't even the reason he did the fucking attack. We must stop the terror. I call upon all nations to do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank, Thank you. you. Now watch this drive. God, Fucking legend. This is classic. That was the best thing. Swagged I, out, I, dude. I've never seen that video. Oh, really? That's it's, oh, that's crazy. iconic. He got, he I, got slammed a lot for best that. Best part of his presidency. I mean, looking back, though, it's pretty iconic. I mean, psychotic yeah. and iconic. It's psychotic. delusional confidence. Psychotic. Psychotic. Yeah. I, I sent a little bit of a longer version at the end. I love how he has his feet up on the little go-kart as he pulls away, too. Like, that's our president. Let me watch that. <laughs> that's our Mr. boy. Mr. Beast vibes. Trying to be talk out of the With his dad. Is he at church? Is he at church. What? <laughs> Yikes. Is he a comedian or something? <laughs> is he I mean, at church? Who is this guy? The most powerful man in the world at the time. Oh, my God. George we were, Bush. We were pretty young, Ethan, and, like, and I'm not George Bush monster um but <laughs> he was he was he was very goofy that was part of why people liked him like <coughs> it's not really like something that people talk about now but at least like he was in the election and stuff like people loved it it, it was a it was a very minimized more re refined version of trump's appeal of being kind of an idiot but like in a way that people like and he had that going on a lot yeah, he is pretty. I mean, yeah, I know what you mean. He's he has an affable, yeah, uh, energy to him. That being said, he did murder Similar to Joe Biden. To be honest, funnier than Joe. No, in the way that like Joe has like zingers a lot. You Joe's know what I mean? Too old. I feel like if Joe we could scale the clock back like ten or fifteen, Joe yeah, boy, to like he'd be, wake up, he'd be crushing it to that era, to the early two thousands. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you. Here, I'm not going to put the letter up because. <clears throat> it's probably not a good idea, but I'm I do. I do want to read you some excerpts from his letter. Um, he it starts by saying, you know, uh, we love Allah. We love why? Are, so he goes, why are we opposing you? So he, first, his first reason is because you attack us in Palestine. So that was the first thing he listed. But by volume, you scroll down a few paragraphs, and then you get into, let's see. These gov oh, and also let's talk about like his conspiracy that Jews um, run all companies and world banks worldwide, and that that whole thing was a little problematic. But uh, I guess fuck Israel is enough. Um, <clears throat> looking for some jewels here. Uh, <laughs> I have the section that pretty much is what you're talking about. I mean he. He, uh, about a third of the way in, starts to lay out what his demands are. <coughs> um, the things that he's calling us to do. So the first thing that they're calling to do is to Islam. <coughs> Everybody oh, yeah. should so convert to Islam. He ends and he's like, basically, this is what I want y'all to do. For mm -hmm. me. Do this for me. Right. Because we've entered these negotiations in good faith. Right. And then the second... So he says, convert to Islam. Convert Everybody. to Islam is number one. Number two, second thing we do call you to do is to stop your oppression. Okay. Uh, immorality and debauchery that is sped amongst you. What does he mean by that? Uh, people, manners, principle, and honor reject. Uh, acts of fornication, homosexuality, intoxicants, gambling, and trading with interest. <laughs> that one feels like a standout <laughs> from the rest. <laughs> There he goes. You know why? You know why we got attacked? Because we trade with interest, bro. <laughs> That's our American God-given right, man. <laughs> Did you read that part? <laughs> he hates us because we do loans with interest. Oh, uh, a lot of those things on that list are some of my favorite things, though. So, literally, right, fornication. Know. 
Sure. What is he? Is that premarital? I thought that just meant having sex. I, in within the context of what he's talking about, probably. So we must stop premarital yeah. sex. But I'm not married, so. I hope you this girl's put a two virgin. Two together there. She's like, bro. <laughs> I just realized that Sharia law would be awesome, and like. <laughs> I don't like, I have a student loan with, with a debt. And I was like, yo. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and maybe I like, can yo. get behind, behind 0. 0.5 there actually. The <laughs> trading with interest part. There's more, right? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, this is all one subsection <coughs> about why you sh shouldn't be gay. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's a third demand here. Blah, blah, blah. He's going into great detail about all of this, the all of those things that I just listed here. So I'm still scrolling, looking for. We got the high level notes on that. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if there's a new. Uh... Bin Laden drop? <laughs> no, <laughs> like a, a third demand. A third demand. Uh, it guy. seems like everything is categorized into those two, though. By the, by the way, the guy's a total hypocrite. When they, when they got him finally in his compound, he had like porn and video games and all this Western shit. The dude was a total fraud. Mm -hmm. Living large. I'm seeing the third demand is oh, I, yeah, Dre I releases the chronic. Yep. Oh shit. Yep. Yeah. The original tapes. Uh, well, that no. was a good one. <laughs> anyway, let's listen to her. Now that uh, we know that's what he wants. He said, America, this is what I want you to do. He says, Sharia law, become Muslim. Don't stop being gay. Stop having sex before marriage. Stop doing loans and gambling and drinking. <laughs> right. As you know, all Americans hate all of those things. <laughs> For, and tip, you know what I mean? And then the, f the third one was... Well, he was joking. The actual third one I, I just found is the... <coughs> you take an honest stance with yourself, and I doubt you will do so. Well, don't make assumptions like that. Why do you have to throw that little aside in there? Yeah, come on, bro. That just is prickish. I thought we entered this in good faith. Yeah, this is <laughs> just a negotiation, my guy. <laughs> uh, what I call you thirdly to do is take an honest stance with yourself, and I doubt you will do so, to discover that you are a nation without principles or manners. All right. And that values and principles are, are something you merely demand from others, not that which you yourself must adhere to, okay? Like, I get, the criticism is interesting. Bad manners. Standing alone by itself. But then when you realize his, his definition of righteous living and, like, civilized living or whatever yeah, you can is horrific. Absolutely <laughs> be like horrific. critical of our own government and should be, but um, that and, doesn't mean and frankly, you the, have to support the, Osama bin Laden too. Frankly, the whole letter is not. I read the whole thing expecting it to be more interesting. It's not even interesting. It's frankly pretty like surface level, basic terrorist shit. It's actually even dumber than I thought. Um, so anyway, go ahead and finish for me. And yeah, so <coughs> go read it. So I just read a letter to America, and I will never look at life the same. I will never look at this country the same i will never i what please read it I, i'm assuming it. only because he said that he doesn't like what israel's doing to palestinians i mean what else could they agree with and it was such a small part well, of this i letter. mean I, yeah the the whole like beginning it there's the israel part there's also he had a big issue with um there being U.S. troops in Saudi Arabia, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he mentioned all kinds of, like, American imperialism. Yeah, and, and so, like, the anti-imperialism, like, angle in there, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with those sections, but, like... Let me ask... Saying I... The world has changed. <coughs> I will never... I will never see the world <coughs> the same after reading, like you said, what the vast majority of this is, which is just kind of... Common like place criticism. Screed. It's yeah. literally dime a dozen criticism of America. Right. Um... The part that apparently changed her life forever. Um, but I'd love to know Osama bin Laden's foreign policy of imperialism. If Would he just be cool and chill? Or is, you know what I mean? He probably wouldn't want to invade surrounding uh, countries and expand his territory, right? He's probably super peaceful dude. Mm, yeah. 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 Let like how he fought for years in Afghanistan, right? Where he's from? What happened there? I don't understand the reference. It's because he's not from Afghanistan. Oh, he's a fucking colonizer. Yeah, he's, no, he's a, he's a Saudi. Oh. And he's an, from a very, very prominent, rich family yeah, in Nepo Saudi Arabia, baby. too. Dude, he's such a phony. Yeah, no, he's a total, he's like cosplaying as like a gorilla. Well, not cosplaying. He, he did fight as a gorilla in Afghanistan, so. He did a bit of fighting. Yeah. We love him for that. <laughs> 
We're, but we yeah, the whole, the whole we like, wish him, oh we wish him well. I, it made me so oh nervous. I spilled water all over my lap. <laughs> oh, come oh, on. No. What's happening? What? Um, I do not condone this. God bless America. I'm out. <laughs> God bless America, <laughs> man. You're leaving, huh? Oh, you got to dry your, your laptop. Yeah. <laughs> AB's got to get out of here. It's, <laughs> um, this actually, frankly, uh, I am not seeing these moron, these people the same again. I mean, this is kind of mind blowing myself here. It's like their hatred of Israel is actually outweighing their. And it's also, <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know. And it's also just, I mean, they're not that young, Dan, these people. Well, it's not about that. It's just about like. People who do this shit on like TikTok and stuff, I I always have to like wonder how much of it is engagement baiting. Yeah, mm. <laughs> they're still putting their face out there. No, it's stupid. And saying I love or not I love, but like vibing with Osam Osama. Yeah, right. it's like the extremities. I feel like the way that Gen Z deals with them online, it's like if someone does something that humanizes them or they get a new piece of data, it like shifts 100 percent and there's no nuance in opinion and that is what is really really dangerous i think they're like yo this guy said one thing i agree with yeah <laughs> i feel like that's a trend with a, a lot of things like interesting we get one bit of info and then we're like actually i realize i love this person sure. like when people true. go that back and forth happen. online yeah, yeah. when happen. they fight yep that everything's is... like in judgment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is Osama's just embro embroiled in his first TikTok T sesh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I think Let people were like so eager to jump on, like commenting on this situation, this current uh, recent situation, and they thought it was just going to be like uh, other conflicts and not really knowing what the hell they're talking about and just jumping in and not realizing yeah. how deep this goes. And yeah. so. They probably posted stuff immediately, got backlash, and they're like, oh, maybe I should look into certain things. Maybe I should read the rest of it. Right. And then somehow that led to maybe Osama had, maybe he was cooking. Oh, God. Oh, guys, hold on. AB, that cannot be a soundbite. Huh? You said Osama is cooking. Osama's. I'm kidding. Should I button? I don't think so. No. No. You're good. Okay. Just a joke. It's just cooking a little, in hell. Just a little humor injection. Just a little humor. If you are also are you going humored? through an existential crisis in this very moment. This girl's having existential crisis. Because crisis. in the last 20 <laughs> minutes, my entire viewpoint on the entire life I have believed and I have lived has changed. I mean, she, she's, she's say after reading this letter. She, she's implying, like, pretty much exactly that. He was totally justified, and she and his reasons are all good. And she's going to change her entire life because of it, <laughs> because of what she read in the last 20 minutes. I guess she's going to go join the Taliban. Good luck <laughs> like, out that's there. That's a great <laughs> 20 minutes. My life has changed the fundamentally. Yeah, the Taliban's still out there. You can go join them. <laughs> right? They're still they're still out there doing shaking their dicks, There's doing probably their thing. A couple. Right? Yeah, probably. I think they have like a Discord now or something. I don't know. Yeah. Twitter maybe <laughs> X. Sorry. That's a mm -hmm. joke. God bless America. <laughs> they're all on X now? Funny. Yeah, they're vibing. <laughs> Please read that entire <laughs> letter. You, I wish the same for you. I mean, it's possible that she did and agreed with the bigoted stuff, too. Who knows? Wow. I don't know who this person is. Or, or no more likely, way. is they scanned it, like you said, or read the first couple But the, the paragraphs. funny thing about this... And then they, rushed to make a TikTok. They, they, the way that they frame it is they remove all plausible di deniability. They go, I just spent 20 minutes of my <laughs> life right. reading this entire letter. <laughs> yeah. yeah they're, they're eliminating any chance to weasel out of it later. It, totally, totally. Yeah. I don't even think she read a small part of it. I just think they saw... They saw the trend saw or TikTok whatever. Is like, I want How to could fucking... you film yourself saying something so crazy? <laughs> I mean, it's dumb. not even it's not even that different from reading like hit Mein Kampf and being like, oh, my he, Hitler has. Uh, I don't I don't know what's in that book. I've never read it, but maybe he's got some good ideas about roads. <laughs> right. And I just <laughs> right, it's totally changed my mind. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought about Hitler this way before. Uh. Yeah, I saw some really funny jokes going around about this time was like, I just discovered this really great book by this German. Um. Artist, Artist called My yeah. Struggle. <laughs> <laughs>
I want to stop what they're doing right now and go read. It's literally two pages. Go read A Letter to America. By the way. Wait, th no, it's not. Right. That, that's Wait, that, that kind of fixes the issue. No, it, it depends how it's formatted. It could be. It, it, it's, it could be formatted. I don't think there's any. Like, it's pretty long. I mean, it's a ju No, it's not. It's, it's not that long. I mean, like, I would say like 2, 10 pages words, long. maybe. I guess let me, I'm going to drop it into a word processor the, and see. I mean, I've re it took me about 20 minutes to read it, probably. Maybe less, 15. Um, oh, it's 3,800 words. 3,800. That's a juicy little essay. To be honest. It's a juicy little essay to cook up in a cave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, He's padding it. But like, yeah. He's padding it. This, this girl, I believe, is American, I'm assuming, based on her accent. But listen to what she says. She goes, Higher letter. I need everyone to stop what they're doing right now and go read. It's literally two pages. Go read A Letter to America. Okay. I, I need everybody to stop what they're doing and go read terrorist propaganda roof for me real fast. <laughs> Who are you? I cannot. Alright, I'm dropping it into Word. Times New Roman. Oh, you. 11 point font. Seems pretty standard, right? Okay. And the result? Seven pages. So maybe not okay. Finished. So she, so she, she probably. I wonder if there was like definitely a, a just, lot more than two. There's no I wonder way that it's if two. there was a um, like a part that was just about Israel that they thought was the whole thing circulated. It's possible. It's possible. I'm giving them a lot of benefit of the yeah. doubt on that. A lot. Well, like you said, I mean, the previous woman really left her no, self no room. Maybe this was. I it was read just like... every word of this essay, <laughs> and it spoke to my soul. Well, let's see what she says. And please come back here and just let me know what you think because I feel like I'm going through like an existential crisis right now and a lot of people are so I just need someone else to be feeling this too. I need you to- I'd kill to read the comments on that. <laughs> so here's uh, my boy. I need you to stop what you're doing and go read Letter to America. <laughs> Dude, are you like a terrorist or a, like recruiter? Like what are you doing? Do you know what you're doing? I mean, it's psycho. It's, it's crazy. Like, can we point this out as like, um, said the propaganda gobbler, Ethan, why are you here? Dumbass. What propaganda have I gobbled? Say it. I dare you. So you probably love this essay. Whoever wrote that. <laughs> How much do you love Osama bin Laden? Freak. Who said that? I didn't see that. I saw it right here. Here, let's look. Can we look at their his comment history? No. It's this guy Trins, T R I N Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. What are you talking about on? I don't know. Oh, because on Twitch you can show. No, you can't do that. Oh, another failure. Yeah. Because I I think that's so cool when Twitch people can pull up the chat history and get a look at these freaks. Anyway, go ahead, dude. Uh, Send me to Afghanistan. Stop what you're doing and go read A Letter to America. It is literally the craziest thing I've read in a while. And while I can't say that I'm that surprised, I am pretty shocked. That was good. Yeah, button that up. Um, Resistance. Here, let me go back. I don't know how much got cut. Let's start it over. Oh, God damn it. This morning I read uh, a letter. I mean, can we call this pe these people like leftists going too far? Is that fair? Because, I mean, if you look at like alt-right people that are, I mean, they're basically Nazis. What, so what do you call this? Is this leftist going too far? I mean, it's, this is a handful of dumbasses on TikTok. I don't know. I don't you know. There, there was a lot of... Okay, well, so what? I mean, how many gripers are out there? Right, exactly. I mean, you know, people like to look at, like, you know, the alt-righters and... I mean, I do it, fuck. Extrapolate a lot of meaning from that, like, oh, shit, these are your people. But these people are fucking just as crazy, man. So I just need someone else to be feeling this too. I need you to stop what you're doing and go read A Letter to America. It is literally the craziest thing I've read in a while. And while I can't say that I'm that surprised- Someone said, yeah, that button checked out. You don't even know what I said, but that's the point. 
surprised. <laughs> I am pretty shocked. So go read it and tell me what you think because I really also need to talk to other people about this. And actually, before you even read the letter, I did want to mention, in reading the letter, I could only think of this tweet that I saw the other day. Under settler colonialism, any kind of resistance is branded as terrorist because the only acceptable violence is violence by the occupier. So this is fucking insane. I just read Osama bin Laden's letter to America, which I will be going through right here, but it's actually so mind fucking to me that terrorism has been sold as this idea to the American people and honestly just so many Western on, inhabitants within certain say nations terrorism that is dope. this group of people, this random group of people just suddenly wakes up one day and just fucking hates you, just wants you dead, Shut wants up, you gone, bitch. and this is all- <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I mean, she's Fuck specific it. for Osama. I didn't push that button, though, just for the record. I mean... <laughs> Hold on, let's let her finish. So far, so far, this one has been a little bit more reasonable, to be honest. I, I disagree. I, I, I'm waiting to see where this turns. I, I don't think this is going to end well. I think it's oh, fair, like, because I do think that that is a fair point to make. I mean, <laughs> I, I think... I, I think it probably is good for people to read his letter and to pay attention to the exact things that they're saying and and should have back then too because yeah that's that's not healthy for uh for anybody yeah. to just operate under this assumption that they just they just hate us just because because we because they jealous you know what i mean mm -hmm. that really is well it's not a good way to when they it, the thing was they hate us for our freedoms bush used to say all the time and you know, I kind of was like, "Oh shit, that's kind of true," but he doesn't unpack, unpack that in any kind of meaningful way, and it sounds cartoonish. Yeah, it, and it is cartoonish because I mean, there are there but sure yeah. There go are, read, I mean, go read. It's a historical document. It's interesting, but right. these people are endorsing it. They're not fucking saying, "Go educate yourself about Osama bin Laden." Right. They're literally endorsing this fucking letter. Mm -hmm. It's just again, it's like the extremes of it. Would <laughs> they have a criticism of America? And then they find this outlet to to use it, but I think it's misguided. Let's hear what she's saying, though. Let's let her finish. Believe that they're better than us. Like, that is the root of terrorism. It doesn't make sense. They just hate your fucking nation, but... Reading this letter, it becomes apparent to me that the actions of 9-11 and those acts committed against the USA and its people were all just the buildup of our government failing other nations. Okay, again, his request to America was clearly outlined. He says, if you don't want to get terrorized, here's what you must do. Convert to Islam under Sharia law. Basically fucking kill gay people and out and people that enjoy all this shit. Yeah, and I, I don't and, and I don't know anything about <laughs> it, it's that woman so, or it's so I can't even I can't I can't even honestly give them deny uh, uh reasonable deniability because like it's so fucking wrong and crazy to even put yourself out there even saying this like it's so like clearly they didn't i don't think that most of them i d understood exactly what they are endorsing but it's so irresponsible it's so fucking dumb that like dude holy shit and again if you read the whole thing it's not like israel bad it's jews are bad it's jewish people are bad jewish people in america are bad jewish people in israel are bad it's like very fucking anti-Semitic too, and not and I'm not saying that like oh everything's anti. It is very clearly. No, he's explicit about it. Yeah, <laughs> he, he does. He's not shy about it. <laughs> what what confuses me about these people, and maybe it is just ignorance, and this is why I uh, hesitate when you say, do you think you know these are just like misguided leftists or whatever? I or leftists going too far. If you actually know the history about Osama bin Laden, there's a lot to criticize there. But Osama bin Laden uh, came to be as a function of our government, the CIA, backing him and other terrorist groups mm -hmm. in Afghanistan, fighting the Soviet Union. It was part of our efforts to undermine the Soviet Union, you know, the communist country. And so Osama bin Laden has never been a friend to leftists, uh, even if there is that streak of anti-imperialism. And conflate and like just taking that and running with it. It's like if you want to make the anti-imperialism argument, there are a lot better people to be holding up than Osama bin Laden. It's, <laughs> like, like, have, like all of them. Yeah, like I think all that's a of good them. Point. You know, There's lots of anti-imperial American uh, scholars, educators, tons of them. I mean, it's a well-trodden uh, topic at this point, especially yeah. in colleges and stuff. 
That's a good point. There's about a kajillion other people that have like way more based takes. I think it truly is just like a group of kids realizing that Osama bin Laden was a real guy. And they're just like, oh, he had, <laughs> oh, he had thoughts, and he had. He wasn't a, a cartoon reason. character, yeah. you know, an evil. A he reason. wasn't a Family well, Guy well, well. who sh uh, character that shows up for a gag. Yeah, <laughs> shoot the son of a bitch. I'm gonna pass the question off to you guys. What do you think? What Osama's do y'all think about Osama bin Laden? <laughs> <laughs> so true, AB. And then, can we get some? Can we get likes for Osama? Retweets for uh, Bush. Thank you. <clears throat> Go on, you're cooking. You guys are killing it. Me, when I got the news that we got him in 2011. <laughs> she's stoked. Woohoo, yeah. Woo she's celebrating. 2023, reading his letter to America, knowing he was right. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's also just, like, like you pointed out, <coughs> you know, if we just, for a second, cast aside, you know, whether Osama, you know, Osama Bin Laden had a point or not, uh, putting this on the internet... Like, why are you doing that? Dude, like, that's what, like what life do you stand? Ruining. Yeah, you are, you are fucking yourself over. Literally life ruining. <laughs> Don't do that. You do not want yourself on camera saying TikTok Osama bin Laden right. was right. <laughs> yeah, people, people are going to Google that. you at some point, and TikTok that is going to pop wild. up, and it's going to be a problem. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is, this, is this girl a YouTuber? Do I recognize her, or is it someone else? Um, I don't personally, I but don't let, me, who, let me see. Who that is? She, because like... There's a girl that looks like her that makes YouTube videos that I've seen. I saw, you know what, maybe, because earlier in the chat I saw somebody referring to, uh, to them by name. It, oh, it was like Maya crazy. or Mia or something. If I don't know if that's true, her. That's but. crazy. Because she's like, you know, does somewhat thoughtful, funny, uh, cultural, topical videos. I mean, I found her clip to be the least offensive of all of them, to be honest. <laughs> Let me rewatch that then. Let, let, I want to give her. That a was fair the one shake. I was saying. Is let's let's give her a fair shake here. So this is fucking <coughs> insane. I just read Osama bin Laden's letter to America, which I will be going through right here. But oh, we need her analysis. It's actually so mind fucking to me that terrorism has been sold as this idea to the American people, and honestly, just so many Western inhabitants within certain nations that. This group of people, this random group of people just suddenly wakes up one day and just fucking hates you. Just wants you dead, wants you gone. And this is all because they believe that they're better than us. Like, that is the root of terrorism. It doesn't make sense. They just hate your fucking nation. But reading this letter, it becomes apparent to me that the actions of 9-11 and those acts committed against the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We need the disclaimer, Ian. But we're determining if she's a dumbass or not right now. No, we need the disclaimer. Okay, just in case, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Gotta keep it safe here. Yeah. USA and its people were all just the buildup of our government failing other nations. I, yeah, mean, I, I don't find what she said there that objectionable. Mm -hmm. The whole thing about, again, about. There's a second part of her, by the way. Too. Yeah, and I don't, I'm only commenting on that clip. <laughs> I don't wanna. Let's see what she I don't wanna here. get clipped myself. I mean, let, here, but. let me think here. She says. She's pointing out that a lot of people have a very simplistic, kind of almost cartoonish, evil <laughs> idea about terrorists that is I don't kind think of divided there's anything, from culture. Look, you can learn about the historical facts of American imperialism and, and, and how that, like, funding the Taliban to fight Russia and all this stuff. There's nothing in his letter that is supportive or interesting or illuminating about that. Like... Sending, about pe that specifically. sending people to the letter to learn that is fucking psychotic. It is psychotic. Right. I mean, I don't know. I know what you're saying, but I think just the act of sending people to read this letter in a kind of a way that's like a, even a little bit endorsey of it is psychotic. And that's, well. It is. And to be fair, you said that there's more to that video and I don't <laughs> Let's watch it. I got judge. it right here. Let's see. In majority of these situations, and this letter was insanely eye-opening. I really urge everybody to Google and read it. It's because not I thought that I had quite a lot of media literacy. It is but not insanely eye-opening. It's not. I mean, maybe if you're a total ignoramus, I don't know. It's not. It's just not. It's literally just an anti-Semitic, homophobic, fucking religious fundamentalist rant of a dollar store terrorist.
But this takes it to a whole nother fucking level where I was just like, holy shit, like propaganda is genuinely so deeply embedded into our fucking DNA. Red alert to America. I don't know. I'm not a fan. I'm okay with you saying, I'm okay, I'm okay with like, oh, maybe it's not as bad as people being like, yo, that was awesome. He was based as fuck. Again, the part that I was trying to point to was just, <laughs> fair enough. by reading fair it, enough. it dispels sort of the cartoonish <laughs> image that in our mind that we have of these people. And that doesn't mean that you should agree with what he's saying, but under seeing what the actual perspective is, is an understanding that I think is more productive than dismissing them as they, they hate us because they ain't us. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good way to put it, though. I do like that as a foreign policy, as a, as <laughs> they a, just hate us because they ain't a, us. A America policy, number one, uh, baby. Objective. I do find that compelling. <laughs> okay, you're probably waking up. You probably have a lot of questions. Welcome to the club. But we don't have a lot of time to sit and talk about everything because there's still so many puzzle pieces that we just do not know about. Go read. Uh, I, someone said, I think it might be important to recognize that using the term anti-Semitism when referring to Arabs is also inflammatory because Arabs and Semitic people as well. I have to tell you, I find the semantical game people play with this word absolutely mind-numbingly dumb. Like, I understand that Arabs are technically S Semitic people, but we're talking about the common usage of the word. Everybody understands the the um the common usage of anti-Semitism it means hatred of Jews. There's also words that mean hatred of Arabs. There's Islamophobia. There's Air, uh uh, I, I guess I don't know if there's a word for not specifically. Arabs. I guess people kind of do a catch-all of Islamophobia, even yeah. though that's not true. They're not all. Well, not all Arabs are. Yeah, yeah even. Muslim. <laughs> but but I'm just saying like um, it's it's so they go. How can I be anti-Semitic? If I'm Semitic myself, it's like, no, you hate Jews. That's the accusation. I'm not, I'm talking hypothetically. I'm not saying anyone specifically is, but you, there, the claim is that you hate Jews, not that you hate all Semitic people. The semantical game is dumb as fuck. It's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. E Ethan hates Islam. We get it. Thanks, man. Why are you here again? When I went home uh, last month for the weekend, People are asking me about the conflict and like, oh, if it does, not about you specifically, but if it does come up publicly, you know, you just, you know, people will try to say you're being anti-Semitic and they said, uh, argue it because we're, we're Semitic. But I'm like, dude, that's so, that's clearly not what they're saying. Like, I, we're, we're not arguing terms here. That's, that's not what people are saying when they say that they're feeling, uh, you know, anti-Semitic shit's happening to them. It's exactly. Like it's like, it's like saying, um, you know. Uh, I had a brain fart, and then they're like, well, hold on. Did you really expel gas from your brain? I mean, listen, words have common parlance. <laughs> we, we use them. We know what it means, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't Stop being a fucking idiot. Sound dumb when you say it. I hate you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Got a little worked up here. You know what I mean? I don't have um, an outlet for this stuff right now. Just so you know, it it's is five. It's the rape, bro. It, that's... You know, Hassan always says, uh, debate perverts. That's a debate per pervert tactic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, really? How can I be anti-Semitic if I'm Semitic? It just means you hate Jewish people. You can hate Jewish people and be a Semitic person, technically. You're right, and it's just kind of a derailing tactic, essentially, yeah. to just kind of, like... I mean, it's a straw man. Take it into semantics. There's yeah. a lot of very similar words. Debate bros there. arguing semantics. Thank you. You guys understand me. It's straight debate per Semantic debate. diffusion it is, is what it's called. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. You could bust out that. That's a cool little term to bust out. Although that's pretty <laughs> debate pervert, too, to be like, it's straight. Bro, you're just doing semantic diffusion right now. Well, if they are. <laughs> I think you're right, though. I think that's straight up <laughs> debate pedophilia. You're right, yeah. I love how it's turned into like this arms race of the how perverted. <laughs> this is straight uh, debate holocaustry right now. <laughs> anyway, go on. I love these people. They're great. Read a letter to America. Like seriously, go read it. Type a letter to America in Google or whatever you use. And then come right back. I'll actually say something. It was kind of hard for me to find the letter. Because I know there was some hubbub about... So the Guardian was, had a post where it was yeah, up for yeah. decades, and then they removed it when people started reading it, which I thought was in, utterly insane. Very, very, very Why did stupid they do that? decision. Why did they do You're that? You're a newspaper, Some man. Some people were arguing the legitimacy of it coming from him. Uh, that's what I was saying. In term, I was trying to find out why they removed it as well. But no, wait, what? I understand it to be very... Yeah, it's... 
reputable. It's I mean, it was on, up for decades. Yeah, and they, they literally decades. took it down when this TikTok shit started. We should host it on the Ryan Kavanaugh website. Which I feel... It, <laughs> and you that's know, kind of fun. Ah, uh, that could backfire. Yeah, that's yeah. Like that. <laughs> um, But I... I see that backfire. It, it's yeah. such a bizarre choice to do that because <laughs> why would they... Uh, all that does is, A, mist, like make it seem... Uh, Oh, it's banned. It's like, oh, now uh, they don't want us to read it. So now I really got to read it. We're scared of it. Right. It's and then also so because it's not on, because now it's being like reposted other places, it's not on a reputable website where it's existed for decades. So you know it's the real letter. Like, I don't even know. Maybe that one girl did say it's only two pages. Maybe that is what she was shown and it had all of the really homophobic and bigoted language stripped from it. Which is nice. I think we should whitewash uh, Osama. I right, but my I point being is like, that's why it's so dumb strongly. that The Guardian removed it because now who knows what people that's are even really letter. reading. By a reputable news source. Right. It, it's utterly insane. Like whoever made that decision should sit in disgrace and shame. It was so dumb. If it did anything, it just enabled these people more to be like, oh, they, they don't want you to read it because it's true. Yeah. It's so dumb, dude. Very dumb. I fucking hate you. <laughs> All right. Tone it down. This is me without the leftovers. <laughs> right. Which isn't a great endorsement, frankly, right. uh, of ending the show, but yeah. it is what it is. And it ain't what it ain't. Because this makes a lot more sense. It explains so much. And I guarantee you, it's going to blow your mind. But one thing I can say about these people is they're all libs. I feel that these are all like pro-trans, pro-gay right left leftists. And they're conveniently like uh, just yeah, which uh, I mean, ignoring the attack at their very core of who they are. Uh, but okay, whatever. And Mind. to side with a CIA asset again, it's just like bizarre. The CIA asset. What is he that? was he was in the eighties. Okay, but when he was fighting, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, and conspiracy theorists think he still was when <laughs> he attacked America. Yo, we don't need to get into that. Orange Buster had a really great point. He says, "I'm not anti-Semitic. I'm anti-semantic." Oh, <laughs> God. I'm hardcore anti-Semitic. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> That's really good. Uh. And let's talk about it. So go read it. Ethan, do you hate them or are you just jealous of them? That's true. That's <laughs> so true. It, come back. <laughs> Ooh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's really not. Finding out we got him while I was in service in 2011. You're a service member? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, we got him. Yay. That was awesome. Seeing his letter to America now, knowing he was right. Oh, yo. <laughs> You put that online with your face on it, lady. He was right about what exactly? Go on. Explain. I mean, it's it's just it's wild. Uh, letter to America is you, something. You remember I've, where you were when you found out Osama bin Laden had been shot I by do. A, I do. with I lethal don't. kinetic force? I didn't find that whole thing to be that <laughs> compelling. The only, frankly, the only reason that I remember. <laughs> Is because the only sign of anybody celebrating I saw was on Ventura Boulevard. There was a single dude hmm. waving a giant American <laughs> flag. We got him. Screaming, we got him. I mean, we got him. And he was just having the time <laughs> of his life. Just one guy. Maybe if you lost people. And it just people, really stuck out uh, to me. Uh, or lost sir, a service member. Sure, or yeah. We got or, him. or you were traumatized by it. Um, yeah, maybe in New me, York it like, was a much bigger deal. I, I don't know. It's like, all right, I mean. We got him. But yeah, I just remember looking it's out the a, window he, and seeing this dude, and he was just, he was loving life. Yeah, it didn't really affect my day that much. But I was like, okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him, guys. Finally. Uh, this girl says, Letter to America is something everyone needs to read. All It all makes sense now, especially if you're live during 9-11. Go on. Oh. oh my God, she says. Hey, hey. Mood since reading Osama's letter to America. I'm think <laughs> rethinking things I grew up learning. I mean, uh, it's not that bad, but like again, the context of the letter is just not it, girl. It's just not it. 
Like, I, I think these people, they want to be contrarians. They want to be woke to the sense of, like, I see things for how they are and not what they say it is. There's a lot of this, I think, <laughs> right. of people well, people who go, like, too woke, too far to the left. or And maybe not. that's not the right, but, like, maybe it's more like the virtue uh, where they want to prove how virtuous they are compared to other people. And they just really and did, again, it, they did a whole like they walked all the way around the globe and ended back up like maybe engagement baiting was the wrong term uh, used <laughs> earlier, but there it I know what you mean by that. It's part of like the fucking insane social media addiction that they want, everybody has. They want um validation. Yeah, or just to have I don't know, to just have a, a spicy post or whatever whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Yeah. I do think people should read it. I mean, it was interesting. I found it interesting to read, although more so just in the context of everything. I mean, I agree. The letter is not think, that interesting. I think with 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 I'm not gonna read the it. mindset of just wanting to get a better understanding of who, what of the mindset of somebody that could do something so terrible like that, um, I think is valuable. Yeah, and it's valuable to to understand it just for the sake of it's historical. You for, got us for history and but also for the future to just yeah I mean again there there is some anti imperialist uh, rhetoric weaved throughout all of the the gay bashing and stuff and you know it, it, I think it's important to know why uh, why it happened and to not just dismiss it as um, they're evil they did it because. Yeah. Because they're evil and they hate us. I think especially the kids like my age, because we were babies when it happened. So I just grew up thinking like, oh, Osama bin Laden is the evil of a, like against right. America. Right. But at the same time, yeah. I do feel that people take that too far. Agree. I because like, yeah. like he is evil mm -hmm. and his ideas are like straight cultish religious, fundamentalist, violent, crazy shit. Right, and I think- Now he was enabled by America at a certain point, mm -hmm. but this dude believes that shit and you know, right. again, it's- Yeah, just, and I think that that it, context is Im like, I think that that actually is important <laughs> and a better way of kind of approaching an anti-imperialist mindset is under, like, read this, see how fucking unhinged and bigoted and, and horrible this dude is, and understand that we back this dude. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good context for sure. <laughs> you know? We gave these guys a bunch of guns. A bunch of guns, and then they turned around and attacked us. Well, which is kind of- Maybe we need to <laughs> stop doing that. It's actually incredibly short-sighted, because he's like, I hate everything about, in Osama's worldview, probably Russia and America are identical to him, because they're not, you know, I don't think he sees a big difference. They're, they're, we're just, we're all sinners and we all need to be, you know, right. converted. You made me defend this dude. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. No, no, Wait, no, I don't do it. Don't do it. No, did Preach <laughs> defend Osama? Preach, no. <laughs> don't fall for it. it. Don't fall for I'm it. By the way, I'm kidding, Preach. I know you didn't support Whenever Osama. Whenever we talk about burning the witch, you know the era where we used to burn the witch? <laughs> that era never really stopped. The type of witch we was burning changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Go on. Ah, uh, you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. All right, you, you probably movies. have to go, right? Hold on, I'm almost Lines done with the video. I'm committed now. All right. So I said, I read Osama bin Laden's letter to America, the way Palestine is freeing us from falsehood. Letter to America. The way this letter is going viral right now is giving me the, way Palest uh. the greatest sense of relief. If you're Muslim and you've lived in the U.S. since 9-11, you know more truth than the typical citizen. Now it's all coming to light because of Palestine. It That's pretty uh, unhinged. Give you just read Osama bin Laden to America and noticed the media is trying to bury it. That, I mean... That yes, exactly. So dumb. Dumbasses. Why did they do that? What pathetic losers. Like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Such a bad call. I guess they so just panic. Reasons. They're like, what do we do? Well, they, they, they don't want to be blamed. What do you but think? It's like, they're it, not going to find it somewhere else, dummy. Yeah, it's just. And a less reputable place, again, where they're not necessarily reading the original letter. And it is what it is. It sure is. Uh, she's really, okay, so I mean, that's it. I, I wanted to talk about this because it's just so nuts.
Uh, but there it is. Yeah. Looking forward to next week. Well, yeah, I do, I do think that there's this really underground German painter who's really got interesting ideas. <laughs> I struggle like him. We all struggle. And that's why it's universal. Right. Uh, God, so many people in chat are such pathetic fucking losers. Like, if you... Okay, I'm not going to get into this. I'm not going to get into it. But you know who I'm talking about. If you're out there and you think I'm talking about you, I am. <laughs> All right, let's do Eel Pit. Do we have time for Eel Pit? I mean, you're the one that has to go. It, it's it's 510. Oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. I had the Eel Pit at the end of the dock. Next time. I mean, it's kind of an evergreen story. It's kind of, it, it, it is what it is. But you're the one that has to go, so I don't know. Hold on, what's this? This is also <laughs> The fuck? Oh, this is, oh, God, Osa Osama, if he was today, could be doing crazy TikToks. That's true. Is he doing the NPC thing? He would have oh. crazy so lives. <laughs> he would have crazy lives. Thank you for the gift. <laughs> have you ever seen Osama bin Laden's um, new metal, uh, is it his brother or his son? I forget. Oh, oh his, email? I think it's his brother. I think it's a brother. He's like a cool ass dude, right? <laughs> Well, or no, he or well, depending on how <laughs> do it. Maybe I don't know. Who is he? What are you talking about? Tell I'm me. trying to find the picture of him. You know what I'm talking about, Cam? I feel like you would know about this. Vaguely, I'm... the new metal brother. What's Nama new metal? bin Laden brother metal? What's new? Metal? I gotta find it because if I don't, I just seem insane. I typed Osama bin Laden's cool relative. <laughs> cool. He's been he's no, been I, exiled from his family too. We should this say guy. That. Oh, it's his. Okay. This guy. <laughs> yeah, this guy, he's like metal. Like Zach would like him. His product. Yeah, his yeah. Product yeah, yeah. Son, here, too. here. Or what the it's fuck? His, yeah, it's his son. Osama yeah, yeah, yeah. Laden's son. Dude, look at that. Check this guy out. Oh, that guy fucked. <laughs> That's hard, dude. Dude, Osama, you couldn't even get your own son on board with this shit. Yeah. Where Whoa. have I seen him before? Homie, fuck. Dude. <laughs> What's his down? story? That's a cool guy. Uh, uh, he's grown into a goth metal hybrid. He loves Western movies and. Dude, he looks like Where's every the... member of System of a Down combined. Dude, into that's one Surge, person. man. But he's like all of them in one, dude. He looks dope. He looks nice. He's a painter. He's a painter. America oh, is his muse. <laughs> he oh, also, God. wait, oh, go God. back. No, not another painting. painter. No paint, bro. Wait, Trish? go go back to the other background. picture. Go back he to lives the... in Germany and paints. Bro, no. The... <laughs> that looks like he looks like Zappa, too, man. Oh, he does oh, look like Zappa there. True. Dude, that he painted the off the rails background right there. He actually seems. Oh no! Up. It's been on set the whole time. He says America is his muse. He he says unforgiving. He loves his Western movies. Western film. Well, I can I guess I can forgive him for that. Unforgiven? That's a great movie. It's pretty. Must watch. So there you go. That is kind of Omar. Nice. Shout out. That is nice. Should we do it side by side with Hitler or no? No. Okay. Just crossing my teeth. Let's not eyes. provoke anything. I mean, man. he is Osama's son. We got to be a look. Just look at X. Just like oh, okay. I think one of one of a lot. Be like okay. Yeah, he has, he has tons of kids. He fucked like crazy. <laughs> really? Yeah. To be like, um, are you cool? He's like, yeah, I'm cool. I'll be like, okay, dope. Let's have him on the show. <laughs> have you ever seen? I would talk to him. That'd be cool. <laughs> have you ever seen Osama bin Laden in Sweden? No. Vibes? I have not. Wait, not can personally. we reach out to his son? That could be interesting. <laughs> um, I I don't know. I mean, let's try. If you want me, yeah. yeah if not? you want me to, I'm down. Why not? <laughs> uh, this is like the lowest resolution. This, there he is, right here, in like the '70s or something. Uh, he didn't get enough attention. That's what happened. Mm, yeah. Right. So yeah, because well he was one of family. many, a uh, big, big family. That's his whole. Jesus Christ. So he, he grew up. I don't know freedom? if that's all his family. Uh, I think he. Uh, I know he was educated somewhere in Europe. It may have been Sweden. I feel like I should know that. So <laughs> he may. Not. This may have just been a visit. I, I might be misremembering. He's just visiting guys. But like the, this is a famous photo of him. Apparently, he went to uh, college with Kim Jong Un as they enjoyed uh, the university system. Yeah. And, you know, Kim Jong Un went to college in America, mm, right? No. Uh, uh, no, I think Swiss. he was in Europe. Oh, okay. Um, Got that. Switch. Back. Yeah. He apparently he was like really good at basketball. He was a good student. He had like a really yeah. good time yeah. in Western society. Yeah, and he Bizarre. he got pulled back because of something, right? It's a war, I think, like r abruptly. They're like, Dude, well, you no, need I to think his dad now. died. Yeah, he yeah. Inherited right. That's throne. it. Yeah, he bro, you need to come to be king. I don't know how he went from like. A, a dude who was like kicking it with the homies playing basketball to this square headed fuck. Well, he still fucks with bas basketball. Yeah. yeah he, well, that's why, he, yeah. Dennis Rodman. Yeah, I was going to say Dennis Rodman. 
Dude, I wonder if we could get Dennis Rodman. He let Rodman it go, on man. Show. Kim, when he became king, he let that shit. He let it all go. We actually have a friend of the show who knows Dennis. If we, uh, oh, that's right, yeah. He's so, but like, if you try to talk to him about Kim, he treats him like with the highest reverence. He's like, nah, he's my homie. I don't talk about him. <laughs> we we don't talk about that. Why are people spamming John Cena? They want the the one where he's speaking Chinese. Oh, Chong Cena. I don't think it has anything to do with. Wait, that. why are you guys spamming John Cena? Because I want to watch it. Oh, John Cena announcing Bin Laden's death. I want, do want to see that. <laughs> Have you ever seen that one before? I don't remember what call it. No. This is the origin of the, uh, uh, well, you'll see. I, don't, I won't spoil it. And then um, after that, send me the one of him apologizing to the people. Don't you have it. to go, for real, though? No, we're, 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 we're wrapping it up. I'm having too much fun here, guys. God. I'm, I, I'm keep going down these. Uh, wait a minute. I don't think we can actually watch the yeah. John Cena clip. It's going to get claimed. Because it's from WWE. And they're very strict about it. I'm not going to play it. I'm just opening it. Oh, okay. Can we play the audio? Uh, it's up to you if it? you want to. If you want to risk it, the audio is the most important part. I mean, it might. Does he come out to his theme song? Because that might get. No, I can just skip right to the part where he does it. Here. Yeah, do that. Do yeah. That. We'll do that. It's only ten seconds. Hey. We have caught and compromised to a permanent end, Osama. Been what? <laughs> yes, this is Americanism gone dumb as hell. Compromise like, to a permanent end. <laughs> like a fucking stadium of WWE fans uh, and John Cena announcing uh, to everybody's glee that we got him. Is that is American a, dumb. Such a crazy way to phrase it. And compromise to a permanent end. Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> we got him. Now, could you play John Cena doing Mandarin? And then I swear I'll finish. I love John Cena moments. The one where he's talking about ice cream or something? Did, uh. I heard that um, Jay Shetty put out a TikTok about this song. Did you guys see that? Is this not the one that we were talking about? No, this is not the apology, I think. Hold on. Did you guys see that one with Jay Shetty where he put, he put out a video on TikTok about uh, Osama? No, That's I crazy. don't know about that. I swear I remember. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I could have. He could have. He was like, "This just blew my mind. It changed everything." Okay, He's right shut about the fuck up. That didn't happen. I re I'm not 100 percent sure, but I have some kind of memory of him saying that. Get out of here! Don't fucking be smirch shetty like that. He says, "Yeah, disgusting. man." He was right on about the Jews. It's disgusting. He would never. I think he said he was right on about the Jews, but I don't remember. Ethan's lying. Uh, is this not I the may video? Be misremembering. Is this the video that you want? He's apologizing over Taiwan comment. That's oh, it's that's Bing Shiling. That's not the apology though. Wait, what did I say? He apologizes to Taiwan. This, yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> this is so fucking iconic. Is it this yeah. one? Yeah, that one's good. And former pro wrestler John oh, Cena has. Up. Well, I come <laughs> Jin Jong. Wait, Jong go back. I want to read the Jong subtitles. <laughs> John Cena is getting absolutely fucking. Hello China, this is John Cena. I was wrongly said Taiwan is a country. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Not only is Taiwan not a country, they're also a bunch of losers that you guys should totally colonize. Not even a real place. He says it's not even a real place. It's like Zootopia. This is Stephen Colbert. This is like a joke, dude. Oh, why am I reading this? Go back. God damn it. <laughs> it's like so terrible. Oh my. Wait, because it was crazy though. It, it's not... It wasn't that off from what he actually said. Here, do the Guardian. You know, fuck it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I have to say right now, in Fast and Furious 9, <laughs> this is not real, is it? Is he talking about Fast and Furious 9? <laughs> this one is what is happening, John? <laughs> little promo. <laughs> he says in one of them, I made a mistake during a promotional uh, interview. Everyone asked me, if I can use Chinese, people at Fast and Furious 9 information gave me lots of interview information. Uh, I made a mistake. I have to say right now, it is so, 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 so important. I love and respect China and the Chinese people. I'm so, so sorry for my mistake. I'm so very sorry. You have to understand, I... 
I love and respect China and Chinese people. I'm so sorry. This man literally just, uh, he like accidentally referred to Taiwan as a country or something. Yeah. Or just, you know, flippantly. Because, I mean, it is pretty much. Yeah. You know? And give me a fucking break. But there it is. Apparently you can't say that. I'm so impressed by his Mandarin, though. This is very impressive. I got to get him over to, to you. Yuhan? Is that my spot? My yeah, Yuhan. Yeah, that was the jade mining uh, province. I need yeah. to meet him in Yuhan, start my new life. All right, this is, a, this is longer than I thought. We're having too much fun out here. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Love, appreciation, and good vibes to everybody watching right now. Um, and have a wonderful night. Today is it's Wednesday, so we'll be back on Friday for another great episode, and we'll do Ill Fits on Friday, I promise. Yeah. So, one more thing I want to say before I go. Last night, we let the Rizzler talk. Even Libby Dunn was getting rizzed up by Baby Gronk. She said that your gout was so Ohio and skibbity. Even Kyson, Nat, and I show speed hitting the gritty. A grim is shaking Fortnite. A grim is shaking Fortnite.